All right, we have John Elite, obviously, today, Michael Dowd and John Cardillo. Thank you all for coming in. Very interesting day today, huh? Yeah, it's always an interesting day around Mike Dowd. So, and, <laughs> what? you know, so we always got to have one crazy guy when we got some normal guys like John. Normal? Yeah, I get yeah. carried away. I don't yeah. know about that. That's yeah. John. That's not even right. Yeah, we'll see how that plays yeah. out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> In my book, he's oh, normal. Oh, yeah, oh, this, yeah, this yeah. guy, he kills people for a living. No one's normal. And he's more <laughs> fucking normal than you. So what does that say about you? That's, That's yeah. not hey, good. Thanks, John, for that. <laughs> now, is this your show? Yes, oh, it is. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll shut up. So, John, tell everybody a little bit about yourself if they don't know who you are. Just a little bit of a background. I'm John Cardall. I like long walks on the beach with Mike. No. Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh -oh. Yeah. Umbrellas and pina coladas, <laughs> too? Umbrellas and pina if you like pina coladas and getting uh, uh, walking fucked in the rain. That song was it. <laughs> uh, no, I was a uh, television radio guy. Uh, most recently with Newsmax uh, was the uh, white conservative ex-cop. They used to bring on Dr. Drew to get yelled at and <laughs> abused, and I continue to take that abuse on Twitter. So I guess you call me a virtual masochist. I don't know. The resident conservative, they get yelled at a lot. Now, you went to school, right? And you got a bachelor's degree with the public senate. With the what? The public senate? No. I don't know what that is. It's I, crazy. I was reading right in front of Oh, those Chinese wiki sites. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 5'7". I have uh, yeah, two five, nieces. Seven, you're 66 uh, 66 kilograms. 66 kilograms, apparently. Oh, oh geez. And I have two children. Talk about kilograms. That's <laughs> my... Mike. <laughs> I have a, a, apparently a boy and a girl that I've never met. <laughs> wow. Well, that's yeah. nice to know, huh? That's good. I always get nervous when those ancestry DNA emails come Mike, in. I was worried. <laughs> Mike's got a couple of them in Thailand, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, I, nah, these, I, I read, read these Chinese wiki sites and it's great it's great I, the stuff i learned about my i may have a couple in thailand but we know damn well albanians <laughs> he's got albanians and kosovo is uh, covered <laughs> you know what's yes. funny john though I public looked, senate i looked that up on uh duck duck go too did you yeah so it was public you have a bachelor's degree with the public senate uh, it's amazing i wish somebody had told me about this sounds great wow that sounds good i, I would sounds just, good i don't even know how to you should have just ran with it um, i'm a public senator He's a public senator. I'm a BBS in yeah, public yeah. senator. Thank, yep. thank you for coming in, uh, Mr. Uh, Cardillo. No, this is great. Yeah. I, I, well, Our honor. I, I got hijacked by Dowd. He kind of kidnapped me here. So. <laughs> Not surprised. John, you better take control of the show right now because I'm getting a little un unnerved here. Listen, we're going to let John run with it for a while because, <laughs> you know, we know that, John, you were on a couple of shows besides Newsmax. Where, yeah, who, who, so who? I had done Dr. Drew's show for a bit. I had a, a radio show uh, with an iHeart station and then with a Salem station down in Miami. But then a lot of TV. I've done Fox, Fox Business, a lot of commentary, and still do. You know, I was with The Blaze for a while, back when Glenn Beck started that early on. <clears throat> so a lot of TV and radio over yeah. the years. How was Dr. Drew? Hell of a great guy. Really? Absolutely, absolutely wonderful guy and a gentleman, and had more fun doing that show. He's And he's a regular, after the show, you're going out for pizza and beer. He's, Drew is what you see is what you get. No pretense for a guy that had his notoriety. Just a really nice, down-to-earth, solid guy. I want to ask you about another guy. Can you put a picture up for me? On uh, there was a picture we took, and uh, we, oh, were with the, we were with the, him you, earlier. You put we that were. up with me, and, we and I'm going to tell you for the people that don't, don't know Bernie, he was. I really I tell you when he was running the city, he had the city in check, yeah. and I'm hoping Eric Adams gets things under control. So tell us a little bit about. You know, Bernie and you know, Bernie Carrick. So he was the uh, 40th police commissioner in New York City. Look how obviously. close I got to the commissioner for the first time in my life. Look at this. <laughs> and look at his face. <laughs> and, I think next I, and I wasn't getting a rip, a command discipline. No, you were not getting a rip. Uh, yeah, I wasn't getting a, or losing five days' pay or anything. Or arrested. <laughs> that was, was going to say, losing five days, at least of your fucking worries. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> first of all, hold up. Christ. Bernie Carrick. Were you Bernie's an outstanding guy. Did you come on a job when he was. Uh, he was I was on the job before he became commissioner. Okay. Yeah, so I had worked. For Bernie, uh, we've been very good friends for a long time, do a lot of political work and media work together, and honestly, take his status as commissioner on 9-11, guiding the city through that out of it. Right. Take uh, his career in law enforcement. You know, people don't realize he was also the interior minister of Iraq after the surge. People don't remember well, that. I, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, Bernie's career is illustrious. And, uh, you know, a good friend of Trump, President Trump, for years, Bernie had a minor issue. He wound up with federal charges. Oh, that's just minus shit. Untaxed nanny. <laughs> Trump pardoned him. But I have to tell you, great American, and I said this to you guys, uh, 
your phone mic. I turned the fucking we thing off. We so told him. I did. I told it's him. like a big I kid. I told him. I told Here him. I, I am. Give me the phone. Listen, put, face the right corner for five minutes you know, like in the third grade. Put it behind the curtain. Yeah. Creating some drama here. There's Jesus a story Lord. arc. and John, what do they do in the Bronx there when they say, put him in the back. Put him in the back. I'll leave. Put him in the bathroom. We just got munched. We just got munched. We got munched. So, uh. Munched. But what I said to you guys before we started uh, filming, if you met Bernie for five minutes and your kid was stuck and needed a ride, Bernie's the guy who drive two hours yeah. to help them out. He's just the most loyal, solid guy I know. You know you wonderful know, guy. You know, guys ask us, because obviously being in trouble in the past yeah. and being in street life, what do you think of guys like him and Rudy Giuliani? And everybody knows I got a lot of respect for these guys. Yep. These guys are uh, the guys that took care of the city where if you're a criminal, you respected them, you feared them, and you learn to toe the line because of the way they carried themselves. And and they're gentlemen. I mean, really, they they gentlemen. You you got to look at them. And when you know when we were talking earlier, and uh, you know, you guys always ask, what's my perspective on them? Because I look at people from my view from the past, you know, to the present now, and you know, I got such high regard for them. But then they asked me about a guy like uh, Tony Fauci. And I said, listen, I know a criminal when I see one. That's yeah. Fauci. Yeah. So, you know, uh, so, you know, honest, you know, when no, you, he's when a bad guy, talk, man. He, listen, yeah, he's unless guy. you're blind, you can't see through what they are. Fauci yeah. should die in prison. Oh, he's full in of my shit. Opinion. Yeah. I, I call him Dr. Lawn No McFuckface yeah. on Twitter all the time. And that's, that's, that's the sheep in he's, wolf's clothing. He's just a terrible yeah. guy. Who I, I, My view on Fauci is, and it's not conspiratorial. I mean, th there's a million theories. And, and quite honestly, right? What's the difference between a truth and a conspiracy theory these days? Six months. Yeah, right. Right. We're that's, finding this yeah, out. That's the way but you works. take a guy like Fauci, and I really believe Fauci depersonalizes human beings. This guy wants his it's Jonas. Like a number. You're a number. You're a number. And he wants his Jonas Salk moment. The guy's been a bureaucrat 50 years. He's never really cured anything. He fucked up AIDS. You got Village Voice stories from 1988 where they're vilifying this guy like yeah. he's Satan's bad brother as to how horribly he handled AIDS and every other disease since, and he's never had a win. And so now he's got this radically far-left group of lunatics in D.C. celebrating him. Indoctrinating all well, of I us. think he's a little bit of a racist. Oh, he's a terrible guy. See Come what on. he did to the Africans? That's right. That's right. He, he uses injected, them. To... He injected them yes. as guinea pigs like he does to animals John, now. absolutely right. He does it to the beagles now. And, yep. and when people can be this vicious to an animal that can't talk, That's right, fight and, and fight back. And when he did it, the same thing, and it's almost the same. What do you do with the Africa? What are you talking about? Oh, he Leave injected them with all, up, it, yeah. with all experimental drugs. He killed what, that in, on in, in Africa in or Africa. American Africans? No, in Africa. African Americans. And yeah. I have a lot of friends there, so you know we have these conversations. No, Africa, and, and I, you, know, you got to excuse Mike, because yeah. I found out today his scientific specialty is meteorology. He just oh, gave me an education. I did. Well, well cold he fronts doesn't, over the ocean. He doesn't real, yeah, he doesn't realize that I have a, a licensed uh, operating engineer. I don't know. He uh, fixes refrigerators? With yes, I do know. You knew what that meant? You I son of a know. bitch. Or did I tell you that before? Because <laughs> you have no idea what an operating engineer does. He knows does. how to open up a beer. You he have knows no how to open a beer. Yeah, yeah. That's Here a refrigerator. Open the fridge. That's a refrigerator it. operating engineer. <laughs> but going back to Fauci, I mean, you know, analyzing this daily from a political standpoint, yeah. and having been around these players, you know, I was, I was on air, fortunately, through the early days, the early nascent days of the Trump uh, campaign, right, 2015, 16, and just watching... Guys like Fauci, what they call the deep state. And I try to tell people this. When you hear the term deep state, it's not this conspiratorial x file They're not all getting together. Yeah, it's not this, you know, dark room with a table like this with cigarettes and cigars. Although McCabe and, and, and Comey did get together. But what it is, but it's those guys, right? <laughs> yeah. What it is, is institutional bureaucrats who don't want anything to change. Right. Huh. So a guy like Trump comes in, and this is what a lot of people don't understand, right? DC's always run a certain way. DC's always run, say, John elite you're elected president tomorrow and where your administration tommy's your chief of staff and uh, i'm the head of the police guy you're the, of, you're, you're the fbi director. <laughs> yeah, I'm the director no but seriously so mike's well, fbi Comey director did it. he could have did yeah, it right it's gonna be a spot Come but on. whatever it may be he's secretary of state <laughs> you're chief of staff me to call me he's, <laughs> a real, he's a real criminal it would go like this somebody would come in and i'll oversimplify it but this is basically how it would go somebody comes in and they say all right the president says i want to meet the ceo of pfizer we got this health issue i want to Talk to the CEO of Pfizer. All right, Mr. President, well, we're going to go use this firm and get these contacts and these lobbyists handle Pfizer. So this congressman's in bed with this lobbyist. We're going to reach out to the Trump looked at that and he said, well, what the fuck is this? I, I got the guys. We golfed last week. I'm going to call the guy up and invite him in tomorrow. Yeah. Trump, people don't understand something. The reason all these people, the Democrats, 
but mostly the establishment Republicans, they were really more vicious to Trump early on than the Dems. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah. It's because he took hundreds of millions, if not billions, out of their pockets. That's what it was always about. He took the middleman out of the sale. Right. Right? Yeah. He wanted the CEO of Pfizer in or CEO of GM or whoever it was. He went right to them. Yeah, they golfed with these guys <laughs> for the last 25, 30 years. He called them up. He brought them in. You had all the K Street in D.C., all the big consulting firms, lobbyists, the comms firms, cut out. They rely on this. That's why they all rooted for Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush oh, yeah. was going to make those yeah. trains run on the same schedule sure. every day. They all would have gotten rich. Yeah. Waste would have been off the charts. So Trump was doomed from day one yeah. on that front alone. Right. Then he had the whole establishment RNC who were their puppets and the Chamber of Commerce puppets against him right. because he was whacking all that money. Well, I don't, they were bringing I don't, it. I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, I, I don't think President Trump made too many mistakes as president, in my yeah. opinion. This People episode are... of The Elite Show is brought to you by Vincero Collective. At Vincero Collective, quality craftsmanship meets serious style. To uh, deliver a collection of accessories guaranteed to elevate your look. I got to tell you, everybody that knows me knows I love style and clothes. And for the price point of this stuff, the glasses, the watch, some of the things on their website, you got to go on and see it. It's really, really impressed me with this product. I wouldn't be wearing it myself. If I didn't really believe in it, I love the product. Everything is designed in-house. Ventura Collective sources their own materials. Ventura Collective produces in small batches and ships directly to your door. This means you get ethically produced products subject to rigorous quality control standards. Ventura Collective is more than just watches. Their product line includes sunglasses, blue light glasses, bracelets, wallets, and more. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and featured in Forbes, Business Insider, Newsweek, Ventura Collective offers you a shopping experience you can be proud of for men and women. These sunglasses and watches are high quality products to go. Hey, remember, it's Valentine's Day next month. For the women and men out there, buy your boyfriend, buy your girlfriend, buy your spouse uh, a beautiful gift at Ventura Collective. High quality. www.vincerocollective.com slash elite and get 15% off the entire purchase plus free shipping and only for a limited time only. Get your loved one something val Valentine's Day. That's vincerocollective.com slash elite. Use promo code elite. Live your legacy like I live mine. Ask, why as an American would you like this country? He had our veterans first. Mm -hmm. He had our police officers first. He had the American people first. But he made one major mistake, in my opinion. Yeah. He left Fauci in that position. Personnel. As a, as a Personnel, bureaucratic yeah. right. guy for 45 years manipulating yeah. the... F this isn't... To me, this is not a vax or not vax or a disease or... It's a freedom issue. Yeah. We're talking about America and the Constitution and what they can mandate in the laws. And, you know, and I'm for, you know, obviously world health and... But when it's abused politically like Fauci does with Gates and some of these mm -hmm. guys that are that are, are in the background trying to run this country illegal, then I have an issue. And I think as a president, he should have saw through that. You know, John, it's so simple. I, I agree with you 100%. Since we were babies, since you can remember the first piece of advice you got cognizantly, Doctor. four years old, right? get a second opinion, get a third opinion, right. except in the case of Fauci. If you dare question this guy, if you dare listen to another doctor with better academic and professional credentials than Fauci, you're an anti-science, maggot, Trump-tard, conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Fauci is the only doctor in that going back the world. to Hippocrates, the only doctor in the history of medicine, thousands of years, who's never to be questioned. But I'm going to tell you that's why. That's a problem. But why uh, is that, though? The but question I'm, is, why is that? that and it's that's, not just Fauci. Why yeah, did he right, hold right, on to right. Fauci so long? Why Burks. did he hold on to uh, Comey so long? Because yeah. you let him hang yeah. around. Yeah. In your opinion, from your you know news, you know why? News because night. he said it before out off off camera. Because Trump has his need to be liked. Well, here's the thing with Trump, right? I've been critical, and of I him. love him personality. Let no. me say one thing. Let me say the positive first, Tom. Yeah, yeah. I, I want you yeah. to answer from a news yeah. max point of view why he kept these people around. So, having been radio, TV, etc., what I observed it was this, and let me preface it with a positive. Trump had the best policies yeah. of any president I think, in my life. I don't think anybody would disagree. He brought China to its knees in months. In more, yeah. He choked the hell out of Iran because he personally sanctioned guys like Javad Zarif. He went after Soleimani. He was choking the mullahs because he didn't just put sanctions on Iran 
and on their exports, he choked them personally well, after their bank accounts. Well, the people that don't agree with that, the, the internationally, we were the safest we ever been in. in safest every, we've ever been. Ever yeah. been. And the most respected we've yes. ever been. We'll get into it, but John, you spent a lot of time in the Balkans. I do yeah. too for business. They love Trump there. I was in a small bar, quick yeah. digression, in Serbia. The fourth largest city. It's got a lot of content. You were in a small bar. In a small bar. Okay, yeah. Believe in that. Serbia. I, yeah. I had, I had millennials. And this is a city that's up and coming. A lot of the NBA money is going back there with the... I had millennials, 20, 30, good-looking guys and girls coming up to me when they found that I was American. True story. I swear to you guys. Buying me shots, and they were doing the shots saying, Trump, 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 Trump yeah. and hitting the table. Yeah. They love him there. Yeah. Biden, they laugh at. They would say to me, why are you letting this old man with dementia, literally, the word dementia, right. why are you letting him run your country? But going back, so Trump's policies were outstanding, but he had a weak spot for personnel. Yeah. He had a blind spot. And Mike's right. He wanted to be loved. He would talk about the New York Times at a rally. Look at them in the back. They're fake news. They're fake news. And we'd all cheer, right? You've yeah. been to rallies, John, a bunch yeah. of them. They would cheer. I was always at the rallies. He'd cheer. The next day, he'd have Maggie Haberman in the Oval Office for two hours. The person at the New York Times who hated him the most because he needed her acceptance. And we talked about this. He's a guy in his 70s from New York. That's the news he grew up consuming. Right. They were real. Yeah, they right. were. They legitimized they, they you. They legitimized and validated you. you. Yes. And that that right. was a fatal flaw. Right. So now somebody that doesn't know who Maggie is, who is Maggie and why would he select her for the position that he did? Or well, she was White House. around. She, she was a keep chief him, political yeah. reporter, White House reporter for the New York Times. Have her around, I should Very say. Very influential. She'd been at all the big publications, Politico, et cetera. So to Trump, even though he knew, he knew viscerally and he knew intellectually she was going to report on him in a very negative way, she was still real because she was a widely read New York Times reporter. And he'd bring her in. Now, what he should have done was iced her out because he had so much then power. He w that would have given him the, the, the advantage if he iced him out yeah. because then they come to you on their knees. Here's what I didn't understand. But he wanted the attention. He's he a, wanted the attention. He's a Queens guy. Yeah. Right? You're a Queens guy. I'm I am. a Queens guy. Yep, yep. He was athletic, Trump. Baseball he's nobody's player. dummy. Player, yep. Yeah, he's a ball yep. player. Yep. And here's what I didn't understand because I watch Fauci, going back to Fauci, Completely lie and say he was a, he was a scholarship ball player. Yeah, he couldn't throw the ball. He threw the yeah, ball this it's, way. It went that it way. Went that <laughs> so if you know he's lying to that extent, yeah, that's right. There's only two guys that I see talking about baseball: Sammy Gravano, who never played baseball, he signed him. <laughs> he signed, signed your ball. He's yeah. signing your ball. Right, he signed him. <laughs> so he signing your ball. I got to look at the TV. Him balls, John. <laughs> two, <laughs> two, balls he signed? Maybe he bought him off of him. Two little Hitler complexes, right? That are in. That's a good point. So now you have these two guys. Yeah. Right. That no, when he seen that he bullshitted about something is minor as that, he should have understood that like, this guy is really full of shit about everything. They're evil elves. It's like yeah, evil elves. Can yeah, you put yeah. up a picture of those balls? I want to see if they're John's balls on that. Uh, oh, the, the, I, the like I got them right here. The other <laughs> yeah. John, I saw them last night. I want to see the balls that Sammy was playing. With. You might want to get the kids out of the room when they see Sammy's face. <laughs> Why did you got to talk like, about uh, uh, last night? Come on, hey, oh, you remember this? Remember this? Uh, just, but the, you, you the, see the, my point? No, you're right. Yeah. Listen, John, it, you, 100%. We've, we've given Fauci, look, there are good uh, videos going around, video montages floating around the internet, all over Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, of Fauci's sequence of lies, the evolution yeah. of his lies yeah. about well, the vaccine. Well, Dr. Malone brings it up. Outstanding. Oh, outstanding job on he got Rogan. Yeah. He on got Rogan. banned. He got banned again. He got Just banned. Just like you. And my good friend, Marjorie Taylor Greene, was kicked off Twitter, her personal account. So her rep, Marjorie Taylor, MTG account, is still there, her official congressional. Oh, is that right? Okay. But with that, you got to remember something. She can't opine. She can only disseminate information. information right. But you, you know she can't what? Opine. She can't be but, a but, human. But, but she can't be a human. human. Ta right. Let me tell you something. Opine. I opine. I know what you mean, but you know others out there don't. Gag them again, <laughs> John. Listen. <laughs> Dictionary.com. Okay. Is your let me let me explain something to you. Forget about politically because mm -hmm. I don't want to make it a right or left thing. Yeah. Okay. You got to walk around New York City with uh, a passport, right? This is one of the things yep. Fauci's it's insane. You know, uh, uh, is approving and this and. But now I want to talk about it's racist. Because most of the community in New York that is not vaccinating from what they're saying is black and brown community. Right. Yep. So if you're not, if you're making a black and brown community vaccinate, vaccinate, and you're making them show passports, you tell me this ain't another way to control them with a racist. You know, John's regime. a great point, and I'll tell you, you got to go back as a student of history, right? And if you're not a student of history, it's hard to understand what's happening today. But black Americans have been historically historically skeptical of vaccines, of injections, going back to the Tuskegee Rightfully experiments. Rightfully so. Yeah. And the syphilis experiments. They did, yeah, it, with, with, they did it with the... Uh, with the uh, rightfully so. Yeah. 
And, and and the tone deafness, not to interrupt you, of, of the Democratic Party on Go ahead and interrupt. And, and many moderate Republicans and apolitical people, but they're tone deaf as to the black community skepticism. And if you look at the polls, I mean good polls, and most polls have this plus six dem oversample and then they oversample very ambiguously the independents. You really never know what you're getting. And I believe polling is an obsolete, archaic science yeah, yeah, now. It's, it's, but that's another story. Minute that's to another minute. show. It's minute to minute. Yeah. If you look at the more effective, the social media metrics, the, the chatter analysis, sentiment analysis, you find that blacks are overwhelmingly skeptical of this vaccine. Now it's maybe historical. Why not dig deeper into that and ask why? Why is this? But they are, and you're right. Be- because it's a, it's an obvious manipulation to control that population. I've said it. I've a ton I, of, I agree. I grew up in East New York. I've got a ton of black and Spanish friends. Here's one of the things, and I just brought this up to you guys earlier. Yeah. When you're doing this and you're trying to control them if they want to go get something to eat, and you're trying to control that community and say you can't unless you abide by us. You can't. So now you, you, you're taking steps to control. It's the same thing with the battery-operated cars. I don't know any kid from my hood that can afford a brand new battery. How do you expect people in lower class yeah. incomes to buy a brand new battery operator. To be, to be green, to go green. To, how yeah, are they going to go green? Okay, how are they going to help them? Where are they going to charge the car? Half of these right. people are yeah. behind on their Con Ed bill, their FPL yeah, bill yeah, in Florida. Yeah. Or they they rent an get, apartment. They're what, what, are they going to put outside the apartment buildings? They're getting okay. public assistance but here, to pay the light. The, here, the, again, light John, the heat. here again, John. Now, that's two things. The third thing is if you're allowing two million people to cross our border, that's right. right, and we're in a pandemic, supposedly, why isn't Fauci saying, no, this has got to stop, lock it up, not because of immigration. Forget the immigration issue. Let's talk about the pandemic issue that are killing people, bringing diseases, bringing fentanyl, bringing drugs. But just let's talk just COVID right now. If it's so serious that you're locking up and you're not allowing African countries uh, to in- enter right. this country, but you're allowing that border and you're allowing people to come in to kill other people, it doesn't matter if you're left, right, or independent. Why is that happening, and why isn't Fauci yelling from a blowhorn? I'll give you one. Not better. to allow this. Well, hold on. Fauci's the same guy who sat there on the same days last summer and said that a Trump rally was a super spreader event, but the BLM and yeah. Antifa riots right. weren't. Yeah, I mean, weren't. And he said it with be? a straight face, and nobody in the media questioned yeah. it. <laughs> nobody yeah. questioned it. Let me ask you: this. Do you think one of the reasons why he may have said that is because he knows? Let, let, let's say you're African American, right, and you have friends in Africa. Okay, I do. Okay, they're not getting COVID. Do you know why they're not getting COVID? Because they're regularly on Iver. You can't remember Iver back thing. HCQ and all that, right? And because of the parasites. I can't say it. I just did. Well, yeah, yeah, they'll they'll limit it. It doesn't matter anyway. So they're on it all the time because of the parasite. Yeah, because the parasite problem over there. So when they come over here, they're they're not going to get it. And they're on hydroxychloroquine for malaria. Well, for malaria, right? So I would say let them the fuck in. Well, and the other motherfuckers keep them and out. use them as a control group. Listen, uh, I mean, they use, yeah, look at this. At they least, use, let somebody in that's not going to fuck science. Them. Listen, yeah. they use the black community in Africa with sickle cell. That's one of the the, the injections right. that Fauci was experiment, experimenting on on the black community on. So when they're doing this, where is where is everybody? Where's the outcry? It yeah, was Al and Sharpton I, I, and I where's wanna, yeah, Jesse Jackson right. and where well, are all these listen, guys? Right? I want to know where Newsom is with BLM because I've been saying this for a long time. Black lives do matter. I say it. But, John, but wait, wait, let me say, but black lives matter when they're six years old, seven years old, 10 years old, and Lightfoot's right. letting them all die in That's Chicago. right, John. Thank you. This is, Thank this you. is the point. Let me give you a data point, not to interrupt Tommy. I'm going to okay. give you a data point. I've used it on air for years. Now, I'm called racist for using this data, which is just inexplicable. Do my nipples because... show through this pink shirt while I'm on? Yeah, they, they actually do. Okay. It's just okay. curious. I'm glad I'm only being shot from the waist up because you're a very <laughs> sexy man. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Next John, time, uh, thank you, John. That's, so go ahead. <laughs> so go ahead with your go. Go ahead with your good old self. <laughs> My goddamn nipples but, are sticking you know, out. You don't know, said nothing. Again, you're a sexy memory during the view. I'm not happy about this. Mike, you're making me lose control of my shit. Get about well, this. Well, I'm embarrassed. Well, look, well, look. his dick hit the table, so you know he's not a little guy, John. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Uh, they, that wiki might have been wrong. Go ahead, John. The Chinese. But here, the point is this. They, they, they say I'm racist. Size I'm, 13. I'm using data directly, raw data directly from, and this is current data, brand new data, from the U.S. Census Bureau. We had a census last year, so the new census quick facts. Tell us blacks are 13.3% of the population. We can break it down a little bit more. Right. We look at the FBI UCR, Uniform Crime Reporting. That data set, brand new, just was published September, right? They do it for the prior year. So 2020 data, 
they parse it, they collate it, they analyze it, they disseminate it. it takes about nine months. That data set just dropped. This is, in terms of data, as fucking fresh as it gets, both of these data sets. Right. So we know something. We know that blacks are 13 point some odd percent of the population right now responsible for around 55% of the homicides. But we also know, John, Mike, you guys know this, right. Tommy, you know this, men primarily commit homicides, 90 so that's seven, seven plus percent. percent. So 97. Six and change. Then you break it down by age. Right. Now here's where it gets real interesting. 18 to 25. 18 to 25. So then you got a subset of about 1.6%. Right. Then you go down a census tracks and to John's point about Chicago. And when you go to census tracts in Chicago, and I've done deep dives into this data for both my radio and TV shows in the past, and the numbers have stayed consistent, right? So the 2020 data set I'm looking at is similar to the 17, 16, 18 data sets. In certain census tracts in Chicago, a male black is 50 times more likely to commit murder than a male white of the same age. But here's the tragic data point to John's point. 90 plus percent black of their victims people. are black. Right. Are black. Right. You never hear Black Lives Matter coming out for these children. These store owners, this single dad, the errant mother, the kids, errant mother, the mom child. on the bus stop, but, going to her second job. But I'm going to answer people like Joy Reid because I really don't like yep. her because I think yep. she's a, she's she likes to divide and she likes to cause. Even though she said she doesn't, she likes to cause the the violence. When you have two major school districts in California saying they're going to take out the, the F and the D yeah. in the school system, they do not want to see the black community to move forward, succeed at all. Yep. So it, you're you're helping the young kids not to be educated. You're helping them to say it doesn't matter to go to school because they can hold them down. And that's th what they're really trying to do in the background. So th this is why I'm always outspoken about, wait a second, you're trying to say that they don't go to school. That's like us saying, let's go watch a basketball game and don't keep score in the NBA. It doesn't matter yeah. who wins. Yeah. You know, get, as get long as he played okay. Get rid of the foul. And, and we yeah. might as well not care who's a better player. Just bring anybody in. You know, John, go to go to another part of this, though. So I begin my career with the NYPD, and I'm in the 4 6 Oh, by the way, you were a cop? Yeah, I was. Oh. I had to do so many You were a detective at one time. Uh, yeah, you know. You were I, in the Bronx. You, you know, what did I say? Hold on. What did How did I you say? make detectives? That's bullshit. I'm highly intelligent. No, actually, I just... They were well, well, you are well-spoken. Well, you're intelligent. You I don't know about intelligence. Well, you, I have a degree in public senate. He, you came you in in 90... Oh, that's a that was a Chinese uh, website. I have a fucking degree that. in public senate. It doesn't senate. matter. It wasn't John, a fucking you need Chinese to ask him a couple of Google. questions. I know he came in as in about 90s, right? Mid-90s? 93. What? Yeah. When did he okay. start? He started as soon as they locked you up. What did I... Hold on, down. What was one of the first things I said to you when we met? What did I say to you? You hate my guts. Why did I hate your guts? Because you got in such damn good shape from doing all those push-ups that they hated me when they would say his name anytime they said Dowd's name in the academy you had to do 25 push-ups <laughs> and the scumbags would say it about 50 times a day <laughs> you want to be like that you want to be like that yeah you, you said like yes Dowd, you should have said yes <laughs> well, well, some of the women <laughs> well, now you got to see his nipples too <laughs> but gonna, going back to my oh, point so you go to you go to a command like i worked in the four six 99.9 percent .9 non-white precinct predominantly black and dominican at the time puerto rican right, better. right. we never when we got a 911 call for a man with a gun for a robbery not one cop I worked with, and it was one square mile, 400 cops in that building, ever asked the dispatcher the race of the victim. No. They went flying their lights and sirens. Didn't care. You worked for that neighborhood, and you, you came to learn very quickly that only about 4 to 6% of that neighborhood was a criminal element. The rest were just working poor. Could well, that's why, Bernie working was, lower could so. that's why Bernie was loved so much, yeah. honestly. Yeah, no, true. Because true, true. Bernie had, everybody liked him. I don't care. Anybody. He didn't care. He didn't care. He didn't look at color. He didn't look at color, race, nothing. He so was not interested. He, he was a, a tough guy, well respected. Yeah. He was you in know, the jails. Yeah. Well, he worked in the jails. I he know. also treated his cops very yeah. well. Yeah. Very well. You know, listen, listen. Having you been, you, you've been to prison, Johnny? Of course. Okay. And, you know, we were okay. just talking Johnny, about Johnny Maguire. Have you been to prison? No, I'm the only okay. guy in the room. You're I feel left out. the only guy in the room. Head of corrections, Johnny Maguire. So, yeah, yeah. But he knows him, The point I'm making is when you, when you're a corrections officer, you deal with humanity in everybody. Everybody that comes in there is stripped naked, black, Hispanic, white, and you have to learn how to accept them for who the fuck they are. Oh, excuse my language. Right at that moment. Why do we gotta excuse your language? I don't know because I don't want to get. I don't want to get banned. From what? You're not gonna get banned for fuck. Oh.
I thought we get banned now. That's what happens at your house. It don't happen. <laughs> oh shit! Just so worried about a five-day rip. Point, my point is, John, and you, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, is <laughs> being Bernie was in corrections. That really added another depth. He says a humble guy as well. Made, well, it, well, listen, listen. But that helps add another depth. Why is he signing baseball, Sammy Grohana? Like, wh- where's the connection? I'm gonna tell you the connection. He's Between him and baseball. Whose balls? He's a child because I was signing baseballs and bats because I played scholarship ball. Okay. This guy, I don't know what he's thinking. He ain't a pitcher. Did he play Yankees. ball? Did he play Rob, no. Rob, oh. Rob, play a couple seconds of that real quick. The face is killing him. He's, right there, just he's like the right burn there. victim face. I don't know what's happening. Right there, John. Why does he look 95? Casters like Sammy the Bull worried their past might catch up That's with long. them. I don't know why you found me one too. Stop it right All there. Right. Stop it right there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's trying to tell us he'd rather live in Arizona than Brooklyn. Does anybody really believe that? So... They found him because he's a cameraman. I might want to. I, just, I might want to live in Arizona, rather. but I'm not here. The problem is the insecurity. <laughs> I need yeah. a fucking. He looks like uh, one of the Golden Girls. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> he's not in RCA records that he's got a hit up on the wall like it's a record. <laughs> I mean, the guy's brain dead to be doing this. <laughs> well, for, for, huh? first, first of all, let me ask you a question. What is this about? Is this that film? They think that you did the other day. Yeah, this is the this Today is the Today Show. show. Oh, they had they had your pretty face on there. I talk against the street. There's a difference. Right, that's true. How, how much yeah. is he selling those balls for? <clears throat> he's selling us? Uh, probably. 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 Yeah, 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 he's not signing them for I want to know who the fuck buys them. Uh, Maybe if I should uh, sign him, send them to him, he'll pay you. Know who's buying those pay. balls? <laughs> you know who's buying those balls? The guy said buying John's bats. I am I am good. I am good. I am good. Uh, Johnny uh, sells you, bats. All right, I'll give you. He one. sells bats. That make sure. that was I good sell one. cigars. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cigar is that, Michael Dow? <laughs> <laughs> I think you haven't promoted in four shows it's that you've Dominican. been on. It's a Dominican, baby, but it's Cuban seed. Hey, so listen. Why should I buy that cigar, Mike? Because it'll help support Adam Diaz's <laughs> cause to get him, get him released from his... Hey, John, we, yo, we yo, invite, we invited you on the fucking color of your shirt, but you can promote a cigar and you can't just say, hey, yeah, this is my cigar. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> we invited John on the show. We're not letting him talk. No, 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 I'm good. I just let want him to talk. He... he hasn't shut the hell up. I'm... I just want to wait for him to say the brand of the cigar. <laughs> What brand? It's a 7.5. It's a 7.5 cigar. Brought two to minutes you by ago, it was Adam Diaz. Ago. It's a was that a Diaz cigar? It was a Cuban is seed? It, is it Adam or is it 7.5? Which one is it, Mike? You're fucking us up here. I know. It's, it's Adam Diaz is on the cigar. It's his cigar. What kind he of made cigar it. is it? You don't say a Chevy pickup. It's, it's a Bob Seger. It's a Bob Seger pickup. It's called the 7.5. Because they play like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck kind of branding is that? Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, 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 but Mike, you just said it was Mike Diaz. No, Adam Diaz. Adam Diaz. Yeah. Was it Adam Diaz or 7-5? Got to work on your branding there, Mike. Branding's terrible. My God. Hold right. on. Hold on. Wait John, a minute. John, John, you got to... The you cigar stay. is called the 7-5. Hey, give Mike a break. He's a meteorologist. <laughs> yeah, He's not I, a branding expert. I've heard... He knows oh, about low power. If I was a branding hey, expert, I wouldn't be. He's in this. studying climate control. If right I was now. a branding expert, I wouldn't be sitting in this room with you clowns. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Well, he likes to go up high. So I was so impressed. Climate control. Somebody brought up it was cold in Michigan. I said, "Yeah, there's some cold front coming down from like New Brunswick." No, very odd. It comes out very of the odd. West. Normally, normally, very odd. Normally, 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 it comes normally. But if it out comes out of the east like that, that means it's going to be very moist. John, you see, I was drinking my coffee. I'm going to spit it out. It's going to be very moist. That one is that right? Yes, because what's the weather going to be? Mr. Dow, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? <laughs> Moist. Moist. <laughs> oh, I got I to I gotta give a, a, a quick hello, a, a respect to Bo in Georgia. He's a captain in the Army, and uh, we had a good time last week. Appreciate everybody in, in Georgia downtown. He can't remember. Well, he can't remember. Well, I, was, I, I drank a lot of shots. And, <laughs> okay. Hey, there these we go. guys in the, in the armed forces, they can drink. Yeah, yeah, they can. And they thank can. them for their service. Yeah, they they, they, they don't have it easy right now. No, in no. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, you know, somebody, yeah, someone's really telling us that they're really trying to push these guys out for yeah. real. Yeah, they're pushing Like, it. they're really trying to push these guys out. You know the story that I'm telling you on that as well? <clears throat> so I deal with a lot of these uh, foundations, especially the former tier one guys, Delta, yeah, 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 Sex, and, and uh, they are. They're, they're trying, trying to push them out. But here's the here's the economic impact of this. It, it, I was chatting with one of these guys the other day. He's a good friend of mine, a business partner, a former SEAL Team 6 guy. And I said to him, hey, what does it cost? If, if we lose a Tier 1 operator, a SEAL Team 6 guy, a Delta guy, in a development group or Delta guy, what is that costing the taxpayer? Take the operational knowledge out of it. Some right. of these guys, 17 deployments, 14. I mean, just mind-blowing. Right. It, just the training right. alone, it's about 20 to 25 million bucks. Wow. So for every 10 guys that'll sever, 
taking the operational know-how out of it, their ability to train yeah. the the new the new guys, the new guys, like I did, up, right? like I did as a cop, yeah, yeah. yeah. train the, the same, young cops, exactly, yeah, exactly, the same. exactly the same. Somebody, somebody, was millions, yes, Walter Yerkew got millions, millions hey, of training, millions somebody towards fucked, the Diaz organization. Somebody yeah. fucked up on his <laughs> training. <laughs> <laughs> So you're talking. Like I became to, the trainer. Your training was like I trained guys like you. That was worth like fourteen dollars. Well, fourteen dollars. You were putty. Putty in, <laughs> You guys were putty in my hand. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, you're talking twenty to yeah, twenty five million dollars to it, begin. It, it, their training. If you take all That's the training, training. Yeah, because you got to remember something. When you get a tier one guy, not to give up too much of what they've told me, but they're going around the world. Right. They're training with so many different agencies on pretty much every known weapon. They're training with domestic law enforcement. And cross training with them on close quarter battle and, and, you know, taking a building vertically. It's such extensive, expensive training, but that know how, that ability to train the new guys coming up, take the dollar amount, you get 20, but it's saving lives. Right. Their, their know how is saving that guy who's 19, who's now stepping into special operations. Now he's 23, 24. He's coming into one of the right. tier one units. That know how is needed to save like you need the guy who survived 15 deployments you do. to train these guys how to survive and we're losing these people that is is devastating that's catastrophic for our tip of the spear armed forces the guys that are going in first we're going to be a weaker nation because of it and you know we're focused on wokeism you got the air force instead of worrying about critical their, race their power critical jumpers race being the best they can be to rescue down pilots which rainbow flag is? But look, I don't really. I'm, a, I'm very socially libertarian on Me that. Too. Me too. You want to be gay? But I don't uh, give yeah. a shit because I just don't give a shit. I don't care. You want to be gay and you want to smoke weed? Go in ahead. Your living room? I don't give a fuck. Go do ahead. what you want to do at your house. But I don't. You, that cannot be the primary. It's not an indoctrination of program. our armed forces. That, yeah, that, right. We're here and to save and kill. Kill and save. Kill and save. Be, my point is, it shouldn't be political. Right. Going back to what John said earlier about the fact that so much of this stuff that's been politicized should not be political it's just common sense well because it's a, again everything like you know the street i go back to the street everything that guys are doing the street is about money yeah and i and i've said this over and over our government became worse because they're more gangsters than the street at least the wise guys are honest about who they are and when they're, they're trying to force yeah the problem politically is this if and if you believe in this vaccine you would have Fauci and Burke and who else up there? Up there, you wouldn't have two people from the FDA quitting because they said it's the most political size, uh, uh, political uh, uh, spectrum right That's now right. ever. So now you would have a, a political forum and let anybody ask them questions to convince them that they believe in a vaccine. When you don't do it, Aaron Rodgers is right. It's propaganda. He's right because if you're not answering these questions to make everybody feel comfortable. I want to understand if somebody's completely healthy and they have antibodies. Why do they need the shot? Why would they why? take the shot to, for the risk? Yep. Like the police officer said in Massachusetts to the mayor. Are you going to be responsible for the baby I'm yeah, pregnant baby. with if I take this vaccine? She wouldn't answer. So then you shouldn't mandate it if you're not going to stand by That's it. right. Look, why do the manufacturers have absolute immunity from liability? Right. The manufacturers have more immunity from liability than the vaccine gives you from the virus. Well, right. that's what Dr. Malone was saying. Said, that, they have absolute. That, so, <laughs> that doctor was saying it's not my job to do that. That's right. the, that's the big farmer's job to that's vet right. that. But Fauci isn't pushing it back. And as you know, I'm sure when they when they have 50 deaths, that's pulled off the market. Any other drug. We're way over 50 deaths with this. Oh, oh, yeah, we are. Okay, at 25, it's got to be black box. They got to put the warning that this can cause death. There's no right, black box. Right, And Marjorie Taylor Greene was, was banned for a personal account from Twitter for posting the CDC's VAR database chart. Yeah. She posted a chart from the CDC's website. Right. And she was kicked off Twitter. A, a school teacher mm -hmm. from Fairfax just was, she was all over it. I forget her name right now. Yesterday, right? Yeah, very yeah. showed you. Was it yeah. this morning? Yeah, yeah last, yesterday. Okay. And she says something very intelligent. She said, I have written consent not to vaccinate because of health reasons. And one of the school officials said, what is that reason? And she says, under HIPAA, oh, you're not even allowed That's to right. ask me that. I'm not asking you if you have syphilis or whatever else she said. Yeah, herpes. I'm not asking so you if you have herpes. Why are you if asking? you're gay. She right. went on the whole list. Okay. But here's the point. Why are they crossing that line on a personal level? That's right. Even if, if you believe in a vaccine, you don't believe in a vaccine. If the vaccine works, if it doesn't, it's an individual choice. If the five of us in this room, by the way, people that can't see, there's somebody else in the room. So there's five of us in a room, and we're all vaccinated, and we can all still shed it and give each other the right. virus, right? That's proven. Whether you're vaccinated or not, you can give the next person the virus. Prove it. Now, now, say somebody walked in the room that's not vaccinated. 
he can also give us the virus. So what's the difference? If he I can don't give see it, one. you can give it, I can give it. This is the part I'm trying to and understand. And they've changed the definition of vaccine. Right. That's the most bizarre part of this thing to me, and the media is dead silent. I'm going to ask you a question, John. If you were still in your world, still mobbed up, no. still running with the wise guys, and in a parallel situation, you had two people that were as fucking wrong as Fauci and Burns. Oh, Jesus. That got as many guys on your side killed as they've gotten killed, what would happen to them? We'd kill them. Thank you. Okay, but here's, and here's what I'm going to, again, I'm going to go back to politics because I want people to understand where I'm coming from. Before... Now, by the way, now Twitter's going to go yeah, down. Oh, yeah. Cardillo and Elite want right. to kill right. Fauci right. and Burns. Right. Right. Oh, that's going <laughs> crazy now. That's going viral. Here, this way, I think you sent this to me, John. If I you were in your old life, he said you premised that by old life. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, you know, so for people that don't know, this wasn't verified or fact-checked or anything else. So they could take it what they want. But here's, let me go back to Democrat, Republican, and, and Independent. All right? This country is built on freedom. If you're a Democrat and you like Manchin, if you're a Republican and you like DeSantis, if you're an Independent and you like whoever. Pelosi. Uh, yeah, please don't. You ah. Any other name but Hall. <laughs> I think his nipples just got hard shift. when he said that. I can yeah. see shift, he shift. He's got okay. an issue with that. He did. He got but a little excited thing. when he said her name. Look at the shirt. Didn't she, have, didn't she just buy a place down here? Uh, yes. I was uh, told. Uh, 25 is that million. Why he's excited? <laughs> he got a little excited. Look at him. <laughs> so, when, when you take Independent, left, right, middle, whatever. But I think the problem is there's people that are Democrats. Like I, I said, yeah. I like Bill Clinton at the time. Okay, you made a good point though. We we had a coffee before the show, and and you made a good point, John. I made the point. Uh, Dowd made a point. I'm I sorry. made the point. All right, all right. You made the point. What are you five? <laughs> I get no right, credit. Give him the credit. I get no credit. Give him the credit. I made the point. <laughs> give him his nipple. Oh my God! All right. Michael Dowd made the point. Very good point. He's such a smart boy. At times. No, but he made a good point. He At said times. most of us, you know, if anybody from like. For early 40s to 60s and we're probably if you're born in in new york city yeah. for example where we were the new york area blue collar families you probably were born into a family that voted predominantly democrat Correct. yeah i did right my grandfather we all was did, yeah. union construction guy right but these were the same democrats that went to work with american flags on their That's hard hats exactly waved the flag had fourth of july barbecues That's went to the point. columbus day the same went to day, war the parade, families went, went to went war went to war went it's was a very different party. Well, the party well, left them. Yes. And here's the difference. Joe Biden was the middle of the road Democrat before. Allegedly. Yeah, he was. He was back then. Back then, he was. Back then, he was. Not even back then. I just tweeted something out earlier to retweeted it. In 2005, Joe Biden, then Senator Joe Biden, went on a rant on the Senate floor advocating the sanctity of the filibuster, how getting rid of the filibuster would destroy the political process, right. how it would have one majority party rule the nation, right. and tens of millions would be disenfranchised. 80 20, million in this case. But I think 2021 I, I, Biden now wants to destroy it. John, which one? Which uh, one is yeah, that's it, right, right, there. right there. Yep, okay. there you go. That's it, right there on my uh, Twitter feed. And he's ranting. The reason, and if, and if you click on that, click on the tweet, and uh, yep, right there, and then go underneath it, scroll down a little bit, and they continued on. It would eviscerate the Senate. Keep going. There was more. He. These are all Biden's quotes on why the filibuster should remain intact. Today, he wants to eviscerate and get rid of it. Well, and that's why it's very important now to say we're going towards communism. Yeah. Anybody that's an American, whether you're a Democrat, a Republic, or an Independent, yeah. believe in this country. Anybody on the far, far left, progressively, are trying to change this country into communism. And this is one of my biggest points because I advocate for the police. NYPD or any other police department. They need to make a stand. Are you going to chase criminals? Or are you going to chase innocent, everyday kids, like five-year-old that was- At, at Burger King. Other, right. the burger. At yeah. burger. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, well, but this is the point. They got to say to themselves, I am a police officer here to protect and serve and save lives. Or, and that is to go after criminals. Or am I here to chase everyday citizens that right. they're not allowed to eat and burn. They're making and, a new criminal well, no, class, But hold on, hold on. Podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's H-E-L-P. www.betterhelp.com slash Mafia Truths. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help. 
It is professional therapy done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule a weekly video or phone sessions. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. I've been using therapy for a very, very long time, and with BetterHelp, I don't need to drive anywhere, deal with traffic, nothing, make a call, I get my therapy that I need, or FaceTime, video. It's really a great, great situation. In the last episode, I spoke about how I use therapy. Everybody knows how I use therapy, and I tried uh, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and I was really pleasantly surprised with the uh, doctors they have on staff on a call. You guys should try it out there. Anybody that's going through any kind of uh, depression or just anxiety or anything that you want to get off your chest, I really was, I was really happy with them. And I think you will be too. Try it. Better help. H-E-L-P. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Here's one about Dr. Lauren Pitts. Every time I converse with Dr. Pitts, I am impressed at her way of addressing my concerns. Her knowledge is deep, specific, thorough. I appreciate her honesty and her delivery. She is wise. I walk away from sessions feeling empowered and more knowledgeable with a greater sense of self-worth. I enjoy working with Dr. Pitts and highly recommend others to work with her. It's an incredible experience. Number 261,511 testimonial that tells you they're doing something right is straight away I felt comfortable opening up to Shaquilla and expressing how I felt. She has a friendly vibe and clearly was well-educated. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Special offer for Mafia Truths with John Elite. Listeners get 10% off with your first month at betterhelp.com slash Mafia Truths, promo code Mafia Truth. That's the Constitution they got to say. Am I going to follow the Constitution? Constitution? Freedom, Bill of oh. Rights and the respect for a citizen's freedom. You right? know what, there's something even, and that 100%, but you're also missing one part of this thing that's even more sinister. Defund the police didn't work. That narrative it's gone. didn't work. It's over. It was shunned right. by people. People said, okay, that's where I'm gonna draw the line. Right. Of all races, right. of yeah. all socioeconomic what, particularly levels. The, the so what, brown skin. what better way to turn the public against the police than to turn the police on the public? To have them harassed. Oh, I know what they do. I said this yeah. about yeah. I said this about the Blasio. Horrible. Yeah. The Blasio got them killed. Yep. Right? He yep. got he got yep. police officers yep. killed. He talked against them. And then he acts like he advocates for, for uh, people in he's, the city. He's, he's, and, he's, and I think he's the worst racist, actually, out of anybody, because you're asking those same people to show identification that's right. to eat for a five-year-old kid to go, to, to go get a pizza or a Burger King, and you have the police in uniform. He, he, that little boy hates them now. Yeah, and the, he's going to grow up to hate that, them. 100%. There and, you go. And, 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 and here's one thing that people don't notice. Or, or maybe they do notice, or maybe they don't. Most of those police officers are now minorities. Yeah, 51% in NYPD. Yeah, and yeah. It's yeah. more than maybe. More, no, it's more than yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. more than that. It's more than that now. Yeah, he's right, because oh. that was yeah. about a five-year-old and, and, stat. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So, so now you, what you're having is this. You're having what, 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 what would be a wonderful thing. We finally have turned, and, and I say this with, 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 with great uh, honesty, we finally have a, a, a quote-unquote police department that more represents the city itself, right? Because it's, it's darker, the police department is browner. Okay, fine, great. You now have that. Now you have these young people and, and, and women uh, getting yeah. arrested by the same people that look like them now. So now the enemy is not the same. Well, it's not, you know, it's not that, that. I, I agree with you. Of the enemy. But, Mike, let's take this it's back. Themselves. All jokes aside, let's take this back further. And, John, right. if I can ask you a question just yeah. real quick. When, you know, like I, like I agree with you. When I came up, it was Democrat. You too? Mm -hmm. Your family? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When did yep. you see the change? Uh, end of Clinton. Uh, Clinton. Yeah, and to Clinton. Uh, Clinton was very conservative, actually. By today's, by today's yeah, standards. Yeah, he was. He was. If like you it. look at policy point for policy point, Bill Clinton is an America first conservative yes. by today's standards. 100%. Right? right? But I want to go to that because that's important. But Mike, you came on the job what year? 82. All right, I came on in 93. So a generation behind you. Right. But even back then, even back then, I remember black cops took far more abuse than we did. Oh, yeah. And white cops. Oh, 100%. By the... the 
black thugs, the gangsters. Yeah, yes, yes. They took four, because it, they weren't supposed to no. be wearing the uniform. Right. They always and, called them brothers, and, oh, the, and a black yeah. cop would say, "Don't call me brother." But I got it was even more. They would spit at. Oh yeah. We called it airmail. Things would be yeah. thrown off. Yeah. They took abuse, and and so the travesty as, as more you know blacks and Hispanics came into law enforcement, which should be a celebrated. Of course, that's thing, what I was getting at before. They're right. being now even more abused and vilified. Right. By the same people who. This is the worst part. Who recruited them onto the job? That's right. But I think everybody. The people. It's a yeah. trap. I mean, it's, I, a, it's a trap. Right. Here's the trap, and I think everybody's missing the point. I'm, I'm not talking about you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the officials, the Pop, news media. Yeah. I think, or, or I'm not sure if fake they're news, naive. The fake still, news. I'm mostly. talking about the, most of the fake news. Yeah. When you don't have police policing these neighborhoods in Camden or East New York That's or right. South Jamaica or South Side of Chicago, those people in those neighborhoods are getting butchered. So when you're de defunding the police, Pelosi's going to make sure they come answer for her. She don't give a shit they're getting killed. She uh, saying she's advocating like she cares. She knelt down for George Floyd. She could give a shit well, about George Floyd. Well, the statues to this it's guy. It's insulting to any. Well, it's a we're con. tearing down Teddy Roosevelt yeah. and the founding fathers because they don't mean it. They, Nancy Pelosi actually wants to see them get killed. That's why That's they're, right. they're back in the defunding. Yep, so you're defunding them because you want to see them get killed. You but, want to hold them down. You know what's interesting, John, to your point about this. So somebody ran an informal. One of the retired cops on Twitter. Uh, I forget which guy it was, but he just ran a little poll the other night, kind of a thing between cops that we all follow each other. And he said, "Hey, you know, let's take some bets. What's going to be do the they first still follow you that you that you that you follow me? I mean, huh? do they are they do they still follow? No, you? Mike. Everybody disowned me because I talk. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed. They throw, uh, yeah. How they, could you dare let they that throw guy? Water balloons. Yeah. How could they that? Happen yeah. to me now? Yeah, yeah, Self important. Yeah. yeah. He's with. No, me all no. The time. I ain't important at all. <laughs> the pink shirt softens you. They're He's okay. killing me now. Yeah, Everybody hate me because of him. I already <laughs> got enough enemies. <laughs> but so so this is going to be interesting to you guys that all were New York guys, right? right. And anybody listening that was and to some others. So they did a little which precinct, which NYPD precinct is going to have the first homicide of 2022. All right. So we all did right. the convention four, six, seven, yeah. five, seven, three, blah, blah, blah. Seven, seven, you know what it was? Chicago. No, no, no. no, no. no. This is just Staten NYPD. Island. Staten Island. Just NYPD. Oh, Staten Island. Forget the precinct number. No. Which neighborhood do you think Staten was the Island. First? No. Uh, what do you think, John? Uh, uh, Rosedale. It was, nah. it was probably a rich neighborhood. Not richer. One I didn't expect. It was 114 Astoria. Okay. Yeah. yeah. First homicide of 22. Yeah. Crime is rampant. New York City is 1979 level crime. Right. Oh, You've yeah. got rapes happening oh, yeah. in Times Square. You've mm -hmm. got people being beaten, people being shot in Midtown. This is all... Here's the part that really The 114 me. maybe gets 10 homicides a year. <laughs> if that, right? If that. Back in the if, day. If, if that. that. Here's what bothers me. So I come on the job while Dinkins is still mayor. Crime is still soaring. Rudy is inaugurated uh, January of 94. He takes office January right. 1, 94. On my back, by the way. Yes, because, because yes. I, you were, I got rid of Dinkins. I, I had no idea. Really but I tell you what, he was a great mayor. Okay. I got rid of Dinkins. No, I got rid of Dinkins. Um, I'm saying Giuliano's a great mayor. Best thing that ever happened. What are you me? laughing at? I'm not laughing. I just didn't. Did, did I get rid of Dinkins? Yeah. You. you absolutely did. He said it. He, to, I, I said I had to give in, John. <laughs> he gave I, me that death stare. Dinkins was I gave him the death stare. He intimidated me. Yeah. Dinkins was at 98 The only reason he said yes is because I'm driving him. I'm driving yeah. him around right now. <laughs> so who's Dinkins and why did you... How did he, was you he was the first black mayor New York. He bought a headboard for... Florida. Hey, okay. He bought okay. a headboard for 15000 yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It destroyed him after that. They, they destroyed him. Yeah, his approval was 98%. Then Dowd got indicted. It plummeted. He <laughs> took Dinkins out. What happened? Oh. What happened? Listen, listen let, me, let me digress. So oh. when I... Yeah, because so, a lot of people don't know what you're talking about. No, they don't know what I'm talking about. Right. So when I was a patrolman and I got jammed up, Dinkins... What are you laughing at? Uh, me and Rob are uh, signaling each other about, I need to ride home, I told when him. When I got jammed up. <laughs> I'll give you a lift. Yeah, yeah. When I got jammed up, Dinkins was mayor. So what Dinkins yeah. does is he goes ahead and he, and he commissions this panel called the Mullen Commission. Yeah, the Mullen right. Commission. And Judge, the Mullen Judge Milton Mullen was the guy running yes, the Yes, correct. So what he thought that that was his way of showing he's going to clean up the police yeah. department. So of yeah. course, they took me out in handcuffs and uh, a couple other dozens of people, whatever. But the point was, the point was that because Dinkins... Opened up the, the floodgate, he never recovered. From yeah, it. he was just a, he you know he was recovered from it. But so Giuliani was able to jump in. Yeah, and no, that, that, well, the well, Rudy was also so fair. fair. Rudy statement. had lost. Fair. So for people that don't know, Rudy had lost to Dinkins in '89. Right. Rudy's stature grew as a prosecutor. Dinkins' crime was rampant under him. He refused to. But here, here's what I think. I've had this conversation quite a bit on air, and people say, well. Was Dinkins as bad as de Blasio? Like, no, de Blasio is far worse. Yeah, he I is. Said, well, how can Absolutely. you say that? Crime yeah. was just as bad. I said, because well, Dinkins was apathetic. 
Yeah. Dinkins was from the old grass. I think that Lynn Dinkins was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. He was like he an was old, nice guy. Nice, nice guy. Man. He was a nice man. There's he nobody nice that guy. didn't like him. He was from that old Harlem Mafia person. Yes. Sutton yes, and Charlie Wrangle. Yes, they were just was. about rigging their bids yes, and taking their money. Yeah, they did a he lot of He just didn't do anything. Right. I liken de Blasio, and if people understand what I mean, they don't call me crazy. I liken de Blasio to Osama bin Laden. I'm going to tell you why. Al-Qaeda attacked New York City and D.C. to a degree, but their primary target was New York City, was the World Trade Center, because it's the global center of capitalism. It's everything radical Islam is against, because radical Islam, you know, Hitler loved yeah. radical Islam, right. authoritarianism, Stalinism, socialism. They all loved it. it. It's very similar ideologically. De Blasio is a committed radical. Yes. Dinkins did nothing. De Blasio did a lot. So when people tell me- He went to school with Marxists. That's right. right. He went to Nicaragua and hung yes, out with, yes. the, with the Sandinistas the and Ortega, yeah. you yeah. know, when he was a kid. But so when people say to me, De Blasio was a failed mayor, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. He was a successful oh, motherfucker. Yeah. For, for, he achieved everything he, he wanted, wanted to destroy. Oh, yes. He that's, wanted to finish Al Qaeda's job that's and destroy New York City. That's a fact. He did it and more. Yeah. He paid big dividends. To his communist masters. Yeah, and he did. De Blasio fucked the NYPD. And terrible. Here's back to terrible. my. He got cops the killed. Thing I got caught off before. Yeah. Eric Adams is in now as mayor, and I want to see if he fucks the NYPD. I, I want to see. Tell you something interesting. He would. I know what you're going to say because I'm going to beat you to it. He when the PBA was involved around, he came in with the hundred man black man yeah. Uh, yeah. thing to look out for the police, right? Okay, so he was looking out for the black community as a, as an officer, as a cop, right? Is that correct? Yes. I forget what it's called. It was 100 men. 100 blacks in law enforcement. Okay, 100 black. Well, it was very divisive, so, by okay, the way. Okay, but wait. I want to see now what he does for the black and brown officers that they fired, or de Blasio fired, for not, yeah, not getting for the not vaccine. Yeah, the shots. So I want to see if he stand by him, but I don't yeah. like what he said the other day. I'm not going to I didn't meet. like it either. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to meet with anybody that's not vaccinated. Now- I nah. just brought up a point I before like it. Yeah, that I like if, it. if you could sit in a room with me and we're all vaccinated and we could give each other COVID, what is What's the difference? difference if you sit in a room with another black man or a black woman who's ever advocating for the fair treatment of their paychecks and their lives? Now, if he's going to sell them out, we're going to see if he's going to really sell out the black community. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you one thing. So I'll play devil's advocate for a second here. So, you know, I knew Adams in his role then. And he ran that group up to the point he was lieutenant, I think. Then he becomes captain. He gets command of a precinct up in Harlem. Is it the 2-3 or the 2-6? He seemed to have pivoted a bit then. Because now, as a, as a captain, he was accountable to headquarters down at Comstat. Uh, Comstat down at headquarters. Right. He had to perform or he could be fired. So in the NYPD, captain is the last level of civil service. Anything above that is a merit promotion. You've got to, it's, it's, uh, the mayor has to promote you and the commissioner. So Adams started to, as, as a career move, become a bit more proactive as a cop. He then became New York State Senator. I had a couple of people meet with him back in the day when he was, not for me, but just they were colleagues of mine. I did a lot of government affairs work between law enforcement and going on air. That's how I wound up on air. And they said they were shocked at that he was not that much of a radical left winger and he was very pro-business and pro-law and order. His reputation when he then, he left the New York State Senate, became Brooklyn Borough President, that continued. He was actually pretty good with the NYPD. So he brings in this new police commissioner. <clears throat> I forget her name, but she was a black woman. She was chief of detectives in Nassau, Nassau County. Yeah. Right. They do the swearing in uh, in front of a Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. So I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. But here's what's really interesting. A former deputy commissioner in Nassau County, a guy you know, I don't want to say his name. Billy. You know, yeah. yeah. Great guy. And he's politically a conservative guy. He's going to come on. He's going to come on the show. Too. Yeah. He's yeah. a hell of a good guy. And, uh, I said to him, hey, do you know her? And he says, yeah. I, I said, what do you think? And I figure he's going to say, he goes, she's good. Yeah. I said, what I, he yeah, said? Yeah. He said, she's a pro. She's well-respected nationally. She's apolitical. She was a hell of an investigator, had respect of her cops. It's a pretty conservative department. Yeah, right. Pretty yeah. law, oh, yeah. law enforcement-centric department yeah. out there. And he said, in my opinion, right now, that's a pretty good pick. He said, it's encouraging. So I, there's part of me, and believe me, I am the world's biggest cynic yeah. when it comes to politics. Yeah. Part of me thinks, though, that Adams, one thing I've learned about Adams, is no dummy. He's a sharp guy. Oh, no, he is. He's a sharp guy. Yeah. I, part of me thinks he picked this woman because her being a black woman, him being a black male mayor. Now it's all it backed gives up. Them it's cover, all backed up. Gives them cover to re redeploy the street crime. To do the police job. To reintroduce to do stop the police and job. Because you can't call them racists. Right. Well, well that's can't what call I'm, I'm going to see. How I want to find it. I want to see as a mayor, though, yeah. is he going to be a black man first? Is or he going to be a politician or a mayor? I want to see what he does. Great and, and and this is important how he handles the mandates for the police officer. And it's also important if he's going to put the cops out front so people hate them because they're Gestapo and people yeah, on the street. Yeah, this has got to stop. For the papers. It's got to stop. 
And this is a big, big issue to see how he's going to handle the everyday person yeah. in, in, in no, New John, York you, City. You, spot this on. episode of The Elite Show is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. New Year, New You. If you have any health, fitness-related New Year's resolution but aren't really sure where to start, you need to try Magic Spoon as a low-carb, high-protein, zero grams of sugar alternative. What a good product this is. I enjoy eating it. I'm losing my gut, and I feel healthy. Magic Spoon. And be sure to use the promo code ELITE, A-L-I-T-E, at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com slash elite and use the code ELITE to get $5 off any order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So click the link in the description, use the code ELITE for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash elite to save $5 today. That's magicspoon.com slash elite to save $5 today. I'm, I'm saying I'm at 5% optimism because people I respect are saying, okay, this isn't the worst pick, that she's actually well-respected. Now, I don't know. Everybody could do a 180, right? We've seen people go to Congress. We had guys like Dan Crenshaw and Ben Sass go, yeah. and they were conservative, and they've done 180s and yes. disappointed us. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Adam's one thing I do believe with this guy he understands that you get reelected on commerce. You get reelected business, business, when yeah. business flourishes, yeah. and you can't have successful business the, anywhere. Everybody's fleeing without law. They're fleeing. Well, I, I, They're I, fleeing. I, I, I want to see how he handles guys like Bob Woodson, civil rights. Yeah, leader, yeah, I'm with you. Who's yep. a, he's a middle of the road guy. I love the guy. Actually, I think he's a great advocate. And I want to see what he how he handles them when they're speaking to him, yep. because, or Leo Torrell's, or anybody uh, Leo Torrell's. Miller Road guy, he says he's a Republican, he wears the Leo 2.0. 2 I like him, <laughs> right? He's a good commentator. I like yeah. him, he's funny, he's yeah. a genuine guy. He's right. a real guy, right. he's right. a genuine guy. He turned the corner. So I, I he made a him. complete turn. No, but he talks Perfect. just honest. Yeah. Whatever he believes, he, he, he speaks honestly. I want to see how he handles these guys when they're talking to him. I want to see how Adams reacts. When I want to see what his answer is when you're bothering a five-year-old kid at Burger King under, under your watch. And I want to see when you say, is that more important? Or those kids that are busting in uh, stores and stealing yeah. everything. So where, why are you sending 10 guys for a five-year-old kid <laughs> yeah. when someone's getting robbed, raped, killed, or something with somewhere else? And this is important. Stop wasting you know, You'll know in a month. You'll know you'll in know, month. You'll know quick. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you're going to know, know if somebody's yeah. in That policy's going to change. Like, well, what like, I'm saying, no, he, Tommy's right, and I'll tell you why. So my initial thought, we got sidetracked, was as a rookie cop, when Giuliani comes in, we started seeing that crime reduction in weeks. Yeah. And in two months, it was evident and noticeable. Yeah, it wasn't a two-year... My cell was getting year. crowded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. It's true. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> my freaking cells were filling up. You went sorry, from like Mike. Sorry. <laughs> Can you see the difference between... You know, I just... <laughs> Listen, I went in there. Do you even I went in there. They started bringing all these crack kids in. For Bro. Christ's sakes, he was uh, filling up. I want a psychological Giuliani. profile between the two of us. Giuliani was bringing all the crack. you even crack. need to ask that question? I know. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went from a single man cell to a three man cell in like six months. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Uh, he, he went we from could, the We could save capital on that one. Because we, we he, don't need a test. Because when he went in, fucking Rikers was like the, the Ritz. And the when he left, it was so, it No, was I never went to Rikers. No, no, MCC. It was MCC. When you go like he did to Rikers, it was MCC. Don't say Rikers. I'm not going to lie. In 90s, better, okay, man. MCC. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, you don't want the 90%, street crap? No, I, I, I don't care. I, hey, I, I, I forgot he was federal. It's, I don't lie. It's 90% black, 9% Spanish, <laughs> and 1% white. Yeah. They're all begging their right to get yeah. him out of there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they go, this guy's driving us crazy. They're trying to put me in the hole. They're trying to put you in the box. They put you in the hole to shut you the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they said, give this guy some sleeping medication. Listen, listen, I'll tell you a quick story. Right? Please, no, go. I want to hear this. I couldn't get out of the hole. It wouldn't let me out of the fucking hole, right? I wasn't even- Wait, wait, hold on. What were you in the hole? 
Well, put four. me in PC first, right? Why? Because, because of, I was a cop. of your nature. I was a cop. Okay. Not because protect- of my nature. But explain yeah, you're, drug dealers? You're, a, you're a fucking cop. You're, yeah, technically technically you're a fucking right. cop. You're in protective custody, PC, PC right, protective blah, blah, blah. custody, so I you don't get, get out. killed. Now, every gangster in the whole city comes to PC. You know that. Yeah, yeah. They all end up in PC because they all end up flipping, right? So every gangster, every killer, every... <laughs> uh, every fu- <laughs> Pappy Mason's my neighbor! Are oh, you serious? <laughs> Pop, serious? I shouldn't even laugh. He's a fucking yeah, cop yeah. killer. Yeah. Pop Mason, Mitch Williams, uh, Bucket, Buckethead Williams, uh, they're yeah. all my fucking Oh, name. the Supreme Team, all the yeah, bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, you know the Supreme Team. They're yeah. all in my neighborhood. Crack now. dealers from Queens. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting. I get out on the tier. They need the phone. You got good who luck. Do they, who do you think is going to get the phone for them? The policeman. The freaking police. Hey, there's going to be a movie made about <laughs> Supreme, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know yeah. there is. In fact, in fact, I, I think uh, bad yeah, guys. Yes, someone. Yeah, I just. I, I, I mentioned their names here. Yeah, I don't know if I'll mention yeah, on yeah. here. I know the Supreme guys. Anyway, yeah. uh, so, someone and I. Well, we're all from the neighborhood. Yeah, we yeah, all know each yeah. other. We're all from Queens. Yeah, yeah we right. all know each other. Yeah, but yeah, but oh, 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 you know who? Oh, oh, the the the, the detective that's coming in. He knows the Sup- whole Supreme team. Uh, the, uh, yeah. the the old time detective. You know who's back in the Supreme? Do you I? know. You know who's back. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Anyway, so I can't get out of the hole. I can't get out. I said, listen, I've been with every one of these killer gangster bullshit. I give them the phone. They're going to beat me up. He'll shoot me, stab me. Come on, let me out. No, no, we can't. We got to be keeping you on PC. You're, you're, you're too high profile. Okay, sure. I say, I'm going to hang myself on the fi- <laughs> on the fire. There's a fire plug. You know, it hangs off the, the water sprinkler. You know the water sprinkler? I said, you see that water sprinkler? That's not, I'm not kidding. Did you see an Epstein up there? I was going to say. Did you <laughs> see him? That's why I know. That's why. He unseated a mayor. He killed Epstein. Yeah, what yeah, else yeah. did you do? I said, you see the water spring? Don't up? make me get so in a Maxwell case. I said, I said, <laughs> fucking, if, if I'm not out of here today, by a 12 o'clock count, midnight tonight, you're going to be counting me from the water, water spick on the fucking roof there. <laughs> Hey, that's another thing. Every six minutes case. later, six minutes later, <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. I said I could have said this fucking six months ago. I'm in the whole nine months. <laughs> you should have fucking Rotten charged away. for that. That's good information. You should have put that away. on the website and hey, charged for it. One of the biggest cases ever, right? Is his girl, is Epstein's girl. Yeah. My girl. Maxwell. Hey, Maxwell. Maxwell. Oh, right. No, Listen. It's not about you. Not everything's about you. O.J. Simpson going to the trial. It's all over the place. When Tyson had problems, it was all over the place. The Gotti trial was all over the place. My trial was all over the place. Right. Hard trial is crickets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, people got to say to them. Where's the list? Come on, man. And all the material evidence is sealed. Yeah, yeah. The and list? it goes away. And Where's uh, the list? Now, now, this is off subject, but have you seen O.J. Simpson on Twitter? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, what? yeah. Why? Every... I don't, I don't really know. Con- he's out of control. Every, what is he doing? Every morning he has like a motivational speech. It's fucking and incredible. It's like, he's awesome. It's fucking OJ. Yeah. Let's go get him. <laughs> right? Let's right? go get him. Total lack of self Fucking crazy. Like, right? And then, and Total then, lack of self And, and then let's say, go get him. Yeah. And, and sometimes he'll, he'll fuck up. And what did he do? He stabbed that one guy or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah what, the, what did he say? He said something like, uh, he didn't say this for You couldn't write a Twitter parody account better. It's like, come on, let's kill the day. Yeah. Uh, I still think he's innocent. Honestly. It's OJ's you two fucking, for one. I don't okay, think. I take it back. You both need your head. No, back. I don't think he did it. <laughs> what? I really believe it was somebody in his family, and I ain't going to say. Okay. I don't think he actually did it. I, yeah, but who the hell's going to take out two people? All right, I'll say it on here. We, the right, son. Yeah. You think the son did it? Yes. That's what, you know, a, lot, a couple of LA detectives I spoke to felt that that was a good working theory as well. The glove didn't even come close to fit in his hand. They what? could say he was swollen in his hand and this and that, but I guarantee you if that, son, that glove was put John, on his son, John, I, 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 you were doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, if if, it, nobody, if, if, if nobody, it don't nobody, fit, no, you must have quit. Nobody <laughs> investigated the son. I mean, the hole nobody. in the hand and the hole in the glove <laughs> matched. <laughs> Uh, What'd you forget that I'm gonna part? Tell you. I'm gonna and, say, and John, John, am I wrong? I'm gonna say something on, rare. He put her on to right here. Yeah. John, like he, 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 yeah. he went on like this and off. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hear me say something. I rarely say. I agree with Mike Dowd. <laughs> <laughs> How about me? I, you know what? I, I rest agree my, with Tommy, but I disagree I rest with my Dan. case. I'm out of here. Oh, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking a break. It's over here too, motherfucker. It's twice you agreed with me today. Well, twice. I agreed with, I agreed with you more often. OJ was good at the Avis commercial. He was great. He was great. great. He went hurts. A great it was hurt. Back. The Naked Gun movie. It was hurt. <laughs> Three times I've been Nate. right so far. He calls people out now. Look at he's Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, does, he, yeah. Said, he, he said three call. times I was right. It was the one time you were wrong that cost you. <laughs> I, he's like fucking Rain Man. He you doesn't know. Remind me. He you doesn't know the name watch. of his own cigar, but he knows the commercial. You have okay, to like, watch his more his morning motivational every morning. I can't I, watch it. I mean, it's like he did a gagger of fucking coke at eight a.m. Yeah. yeah. 
It's OJ. Does he look good though? Is he still look yeah, good? He looks good. He looks he's, good. I mean, he looks you know, fucking crazy. I got for seventies. Yeah, he's in he's shape. up there. Yeah, he's up there. I just want to go back to him and Hertz. He didn't know the name of his own fucking cigar, but he knew an OJ know. commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nineteen seventy-five. Yeah, yeah. When he was yeah. jumping over suitcases. Yeah, yeah. He owns cigar. He's yeah. trying to sell. Yeah, running exactly. through, running through the airports. <laughs> you know, I want to ask John. You know, John. Go ahead. I'm cynical <laughs> with politics. You're cynical with politics. <laughs> Do you think more so than most people? Because of the fact that, look, I worked inside the process. I see what corrupt whores most of these people are. You were probably dropping bags of cash to them at some point. I mean, we kind of saw just how sanctimoniously fucking phony yeah. a lot of these people are. You think? I think that's a part of the reason people gravitate to this subject matter. Because I think, you know, being from the street, just what you said, I've seen both sides of yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I've dealt with some good people and business people and people that really care about the country. And I'm a crazy guy with veterans. A lot of my friends are vets. And and I just believe that most people in this country or any country are so naive. Yeah. And they, they you know, they want to be led to the water. And if you ever sat there and asked a parent, why do you have masks on your children? You, you're an educated person. Tell us why when they're at zero percent risk factor. And the oxygen levels and the psycho psychological That's what the you're thing. doing to your kids psychologically, and they're not looking at face expressions, so they're not gonna they're not gonna grow mentally the way they should. And when you take all the effects of what's hurting those kids, or the suicide rate for women or for young girls now are doubled, and you say to a parent, "Aren't you reading? Aren't you researching? Aren't you talking to your physicians?" What the hell is wrong with you? If you're too lazy, because that's what it is. Uh, I couldn't agree more. They're too lazy to find out really what it's true. Like, you know, I was out the other day, and I was with the, the captain I was talking about in a bar, and there's two people sitting there. The captain? And, the mob captain? Or, no. Oh, the, the military. Captain, the military yeah. captain. Okay, right. I and I look at him, well. and I was biting, and I said, I'm, I'm biting my tongue because the guy's opening his mask, and he's drinking, and I wanted to say to him, hey, COVID just slipped in there. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, what, are you, what are you doing out if you feel like this? If it's that bad. But, because because why are you they're the lazy, bar? John. <clears throat> you, you have a very good point. They're lazy and they don't do the research because if they did, they would know two things. It's rare. You, even Google doesn't hide it. Sweden and Bangladesh are under 0.5%. No mask, no ivor, whatever. Yep. And they'll say it. No nothing. And they were open. They're using... Uh, peroxide, like I told you, with iodine, with a little bit of that silver shit in it. But, but, but here's oh, colloidal the, silver. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nothing else. That's but here, but here, under point five. But, he, but here's the thing: as an adult, do you choose to do that? Go ahead. That's, I'm not advocating one America. way or another. But when you have children, and you're killing their futures, and you're killing their mind, and you're killing their growth, their social interaction, their social are interaction, done. yeah, and you're causing suicide, and you're causing alcoholism later. They're, sure, they're going to sure. become you're, alcohol, drug use. You're building the monster building. that you want. It's, right. it's PTSD. You're building PTSD the monster. PTSD will manifest. You're building the monster that you want. The they, compliant, yes, mindless, thoughtless, yes, drone. Yes, it's follow true. the program. But as a parent, follow the why program. would you allow this? That's the question. Right, but I think you nailed it. You nailed it, Tommy. You nailed it, and you nailed it. I was finally getting it right because he gave me two wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's lazy. People want to be led, right? That's it, it, there. Are, there are a lot of Indians and very few chiefs. I'm, that's another one. We're going to get hammered for that one too. Oh, I said I that. Said Indian. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna, oh, it, yeah. Indian. I you meant the Washington team. I meant oh, Washington football. Wait, wait, a lot we, of we Washington football teams. And, and we were saying there's not one Indian that had. They I love it. They, they love the name. They want to be Indian. I love Indian. The Washington. I won't call them that. They're the fucking Redskins. Yeah, they're the fucking Redskins. Not the Washington football team. February. Ironic. February. And the Washington. Everything in Washington's done. Atlanta Braves. They didn't change their name. The Washington Nationals. They won the World Series. Oh, February second, they're getting a new name. They announced it. What is it? February second, there's a few choices. I think one is like the Red Wolves. Oh God! So I mean, if, dumb. Now, if a wolf, oh, oh if a hey Rob, you got some tan by the way. Little Red Riding Hood. You look a little bit like an Indian today. Well, you're pretty it tan. Does. Yeah. Well, he has Indian. He has. That's what you get when you live in Florida. You have a good life. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Clean living. But a red, a red wolf. Goodbye. I mean, wouldn't that be offensive to some? What? Wolves? You're very white. Well, well, the ne the next one will be the Cleveland Browns. Yes. Right. They're gonna have to go. Have a problem. They're gonna have to go. What was the other bit? You you had mentioned Cleveland a baseball Indians, team. Cleveland Indians. They changed. They switched. They switched. Jesus. To what? Uh, I can Google it. Because yeah, we'll the, you know this already, John. Indians. The Cleveland breakdown. Indians, Washington the, Redskins. Oh, they did change that because I said they ruined the movie Major League forever. Yeah. You can't watch that movie. The, the breakdown of a culture, right? Society. So that's you have to break it down yeah. to change it, yeah. and that's what they're doing. Yeah. Here's the thing I say to I want to say before you, I, no, we why? can do it. You could do an entire podcast on just his facial expression. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just incredible. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. But the you Guardians? The, the Cleveland Guardians. fucking Guardians? <laughs> Sounds like a high school team. Jeez. Oh, that's Guardians. terrible. But, John, if you live in this country... Wait, I need a Guardian. <laughs> if you li- if you, 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 I uh, want to get me a Guardian. If you live... You, you do live in this country. Yeah. Yeah. So if you didn't if like, I, if you didn't like a couple of things, Guardian. wouldn't you just move? Well, you, 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 100%. I, I, I tried. Wait, wait. I tried I moved that. out of New York. I tried Florida. that uh, when I was out on bail. I tried that. Yeah. yeah you were Shrimp not. boat. I was going to be a shrimp boat captain <laughs> in Nicaragua. And they set me up in some kind of kidnapping plot that I have nothing to do with. I swear. I had no idea. Wait, what? Every you keep bringing that freaking kidnapping plot up like it was real. Because you thought you should have fucking gotten a suspended sentence. I didn't whoa, whoa, do whoa, it. Whoa, 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 at a whoa. camp with a guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, what? You never. He started this with the. T- okay, so, Bernie, hold on I said, a second. He thought he should have been in a federal camp. Yes. With a swimming pool and a golf putting. Right, field. like you talked and about. And I said, except for that little kidnapping. No, but I wasn't had. real. It, was, was it wasn't serious. serious. What was the kidnapping? You don't know. Thing? It's a story. You don't want to talk about. Kenny set me. You up. played the fifth. Kenny set me up. It's all over. It's been out there. It's in my papers. I don't know why. Do you want to? It's in my. Do you want to elaborate? It is. In fairness to Mike, the kidnapping never actually happened. Right, and the it woman didn't exist. Hey, you know what really? we got? That's L- what I think. Listen, <laughs> you want another good conspiracy thing that you know about? You got a wood chopper anywhere? I'm about to put my fucking incredible. head in it. What was that? On our next show, oh, oh. we we got a good show coming. Let's bring in the woman he tried to kidnap. No. We, we got something better. I can't ask him about it. The one thing in the world, he won't fucking answer. No, no, you no, know no, he's that, guilty of that. that on our next show. Very, very embarrassed. Who do we got on our next show? Do you remember? I don't remember. I we forget. have Jimmy Hoffa's driver. Oh, that's right. You're not yeah. Really? Me. Yeah. yeah. You're not yeah. me. The, the guy that drove him the, the guy that drove him the house. Uh, we don't know. We're gonna ask him that oh, on good. the air. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna find out Jimmy where Hoffa's he dropped him off. He <laughs> drove Jimmy. Uh, we may find years. out if they dropped him off. In that's Jersey. gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting show actually. Yeah, that should be fun. We can call in. We gonna have a call in for that. Yeah, we can. Do we that. can set up a call in. Maybe these, maybe Jimmy Hoffa's uh, friends will call in, and, and maybe wanna, maybe uh, Hoffa himself will call in. Yeah, yeah that's what they, they. Maybe they'll unearth him. I got some people that think Epstein's alive. They think Elvis Presley's alive. They think Jimmy <laughs> Hoffa's <laughs> alive, <laughs> and they think JFK Jr. Yeah, is alive. Yeah, and Jr. Betty White. Alive. And yeah. Betty White's alive. I like oh, Betty, Betty White. Alive. Don't talk against oh, Betty White. I, I love Betty Jesus White. Christ down, Betty White. I love her. My God, there's no. They did something really nasty with her today. Some kind of thing they did. He won't stop, will he? He's going to insult Betty White. I love that. Betty White. You, you have fun no. Of Betty. She's the best. She you was have on, no limit. She was on the Golden Girls. Oh, that was the best show around. Honestly, the I love the Golden Girls. You try to kidnap her too? Every one of them. Yeah. You try, you try to, to kidnap, kidnap Betty White? She kicked my ass. Hey, what's, your, what's your opinion on Epstein? What's your opinion on that? I think Epstein. My opinion on Epstein is oh, that Epstein go. was. It's a good question for a guy who's in the fucking news like this and isn't bullshit. I think Epstein was definitely an intelligence asset for some government building dossiers on people 100 percent. because epstein was not you know a lot of a lot of bad information because they, they say well bill barr's father hired epstein it's all a conspiracy he did but at the time he hired him bill barr's dad was the headmaster of the dalton school in new york and epstein was an academic he was coming out of school right. he had no money that fucker i thought he bill had no barr money at was the time crush it didn't you john yeah we, you know we can get into that a little bit because I, I have some insight on that but what didn't you? Didn't you? I we, thought Bill Ball was going to kill us. Yeah, kill I got, it? you know, yeah, I did. I, I got a theory on that. But going back to Epstein, God. I think Epstein had to have been run by some nation's intelligence apparatus. I lean. I've got no proof Israel? of this. I think Israel, and yeah. I'll tell you why. Like I've so. spoken to people, and in our intelligence community, who feel the same. That's information they gleaned, they received, and it seems to point to that. Now remember. Ghislaine Maxwell's dad, Robert Maxwell, dies mysteriously on his yacht. Yeah. Called the Lady Ghislaine, right? It's named after her. And, uh... Wait, I didn't get the call on that. When? In 1987 or something. Oh. The call on what? <laughs> oh, there I was no know. coke there, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> you were too busy blowing lines off patrol car dash. No, he already got his home invasion <laughs> for the day that day. Yeah, he got Exactly. <laughs> I didn't get charged with home invasion. Listen, Tommy. No, you just picked up every one of them. Tommy, it, it takes a while to plot a kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> At least an hour. But uh, <laughs> no, he didn't do it. But here's the interesting part. Uh, and this is confirmed. This is this is documented, researchable. You don't let the, don't the, put that in. The last <laughs> it was something like the last five heads or dep- and or deputy chiefs of the Mossad all attended his funeral. Why? 
That, that's, that's odd. Well, you, just the, the connection he had and, and the relationship with so many people it, to that level, it and the, shows he had access somehow. And the money, John. Yeah, yeah the it, money. There, there's no indication. You can, t- you know a lot of people. Well, yeah. it, does, I, it, I, it, I it proves there's a lot of pervs. In, but what, what I'm saying, that, yeah, that. No, but my, he, he's going through the check But I'm marks. making a p- so primary point here. You got three you check talk, marks. So you far. talk to yeah. people in, in, in finance, major players in finance in New York. Yeah. People that are on Palm Beach Island here right. and in the Hamptons and all. They didn't know Epstein in business. This guy, you're, it was so they only made off. They knew Scott Rothstein, the Ponzi schemer down here from years back. They knew all these other Michael players. Michael Milken. Milken and, 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 and you know, like, you know, guys like Roy Hatton, guys that didn't get in trouble. All of these guys, you can find 50, 60 Hoffenberg. people who knew him right and did business with yeah. him. You can't find, find anybody, anybody who did business with Epstein. Yeah, I know. You can't find bankers that held his accounts and assets. It sure looks like. Now, he's, why would that be, though, John? Well, if his lifestyle was being funded by a foreign government, he might have just, as assets often do, stumbled into something, sold it off to the highest bidder, a piece of compromise of, of compromising information. Russian used to call it compromise, the KGB, and uh, FSB now. And, and uh, he might have just stumbled into that, and they said, shit, we've got a player here. We've got an asset we could put into play. Let's fund him. You think let's, he just traded information? Let's introduce him. He'll build these dossiers on people. We'll maintain this lifestyle for the guy. If you looked at his financial disclosures in the end, the ones that were released... It wasn't mind-blowing no, money, no. 50 million, 80 million. I mean, this wasn't staggering money. This is money that if you've got half a business head and you focus, you could achieve that. This so it also here's he the important operative who but, made companies. Here's the important part, though, and John, you know this. You you did very well in your old life. You're not flying. You're not living in a in a townhouse in Manhattan. You don't have your own island. You don't have penthouses around the world, and you're not operating a 727 which is thousands, maybe 10, 15,000 an hour to fly this plane on a worth of 80 to 50 to 80 million. No, you're not. Yeah. You're, you're spending not doing too much money. You're not doing you're it. You, you, that much. money's burned up in a year and a half. Right. It does, so, there was a bigger player funding this. Well, game. this is why I don't think, and I was in MCC. Yeah. He was a high profile inmate that supposedly tried to kill himself first. And the coroner, I heard him talk again, and it usually takes a couple of months to, yeah. get, to get a thing. And he still goes by and he was explaining and we can do the another bone, show about this, that was broke that he was yes I understand. that he yeah, was yeah, 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 right, right. and i right, i right. i concur with that you know he was in what i know about go back, go back to the money because you you were a guy you had a lot of money in your career you interfaced with a lot of big names that you're never going to say on there my theory on that he just didn't have enough money to live the lifestyle you agree, uh, agree or disagree I, I agree yeah just in gas when he's flying across yeah because that uh, is a hundred thousand that's right he's going across that plane put in perspective air force one as we sit here costs about 200 grand an hour to operate. Yeah. The 727 old plane, but it still burns a lot of fuel. That plane's probably I can 20. I right now, it's 11,000 an hour. Your friend was just in. 11,000 an hour to operate, but when you rotate out of the airport, you got to double that. Right. So yep. it's about 25,000 up, 11,000 for the flight. So L- New York or to LA, right? What are you you're looking at? Yeah. 75 grand. That's what I said. It's 100 grand. Now you're not talking about crew. And, and you got to come back. And you got to come back. It's 150. And this guy's flying all over the place, flying down to the island. This guy was burning a million a month on air travel right. conservatively. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he that's didn't have that kind of money. He didn't have the money. money. With and, an estimated net worth of 50. And he, when, you he settle, it. when you settle a homicide or, or, a, or a, a, a personal suicide, it takes two months about for a coroner to get get those reports, and it was done within a week. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's wrong. right. Something wrong. The body was shipped, moved this, that, and it just seemed too much. Just like the everything's it's, and and the guards now they drop the charges against yeah. the guards who are off watch, and I you mean know, they're doing know, it out in the open. I know, you know, there's four locations I believe within a prison system for cameras, and the cameras are there for the safety of the guards, not for the inmates. Yeah. So when a camera goes down and he's the number one inmate in that facility with a prior history of supposed suicide, there's no way they'd leave him in that cell without a camera. I won't speak for Bernie when he's on the show with you guys, but he was both a corrections commissioner and yeah, he, was at M- he was at MCC yeah, he'll know. In, in the administrative segregation. He's... Uh, what the fuck you think I was? Is, here we go again. What the hell you think I was? Hey, well, you there too. What the hell you kidding me? I, 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 ask me, ask I beat me. Bernie to the freaking place, okay? And, and you agree as well. I, I think that he tried to kill himself, and and I think, but he, I think, he, I think he got beat up the night before by the cop. Did they kill him or not? No. You think he, you no, think I, it was a suicide? I, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. Okay, he got beat up the night before by some cop that was living with him. Oh, that guy, the yeah. in the same cell. Okay, you know the that. Was okay. a, the cop was a the cop was a psycho. Right, we know that. I buy that. Okay. Complete psycho. I think the cop beat his ass. Yeah, and then he hung himself. 
And now that he hangs himself, how do you explain the the, 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 the bone? The bone. Because the cop beat, broke his fucking neck. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I'm telling you. You know what kind of pain he'd be in if he broke his neck? I don't know if he'd be able to get the thing around. Yeah, his yeah, neck. yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Because there was some. You had to climb up and listen. I've been up there. What did he with kill a himself? broken neck? What did he kill himself with? <clears throat> yeah, he had to. I, I, he had a sheet. To, sheet or a fucking or, or his jumpsuit. She just jumps through. I think they killed him. Yeah, they, I, he, I, he, I mean, he had too much They didn't kill him. They did not kill him. Mike, Mike. I go to my grave. Okay, Mike, then, okay. Let me uh, like, here's one question. I go to my you. grave. I've here's been your, in themselves how is days. It, how's it months? Ca how's the camera down and they didn't do anything? That's about fucked it. up. And why are the two guards? Why did they yeah, why did they dismiss the charges? Yeah. yeah. So they don't no, no, no. So, you guys so, but, feed into conspiracy. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mike. I've been in the cell. Okay, Mike. I know I've seen guys hang themselves. Okay. Where would he hang himself? Where would he hang himself from? Spittoon or from the bunk, one of the two. That thing would hold the weight? Yeah. That or the or the, or the bunk. It's a, it's a water, water. I don't it's buy it. Yeah, no, that's 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 a heavy duty water. Hundred percent. Well, here's the what weight. concerns me. He, here's here's why I have trouble with that one. No conspiracy theories. It's a metal pipe. What? No, no. That comes through the wall. The, like for, I'm not talking about the physical aspect of yeah. it. Why did Barr then send Jislaine Maxwell, even though she's an SDNY case? Why were they holding her at the facility in Brooklyn in the EDNY, which was newer, hell, with more monitoring? That's a hell of a point. Well, so point. she's an it's an SDNY prosecution, yeah. which should be at MCC. Mm -hmm. But she's over in the more newer e more Eastern District facility in Brooklyn with more surveillance. MCC's full of mice and and, and cockroaches. Well, but that's they didn't do that for yeah, her comfort. Here's the thing. Oh yeah, they did. When you they try to hear kill, it. they didn't want to hear it. Okay, he tried they didn't to want to hear it. Okay, wait. He had a suicide attempt prior, right? Yeah. Why wasn't he in a suicide? I don't room? know. He should have been, That's a great. That, there you go. Been, he should have been with paper your clothes. Name, your paper he clothes. should have been paper clothes okay. on a cement. Okay. And so, no, John, John Holmes, you, you just said three things, or between all of us. Right. The camera went down. Right. Gee. Right. That's interesting. Right. You even admitted that. Yeah. Gee, two guards yeah. happened to walk away. You even admitted that. He attempts suicide. We all know that if Absolutely. you do that, you're in the turtle suit, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. right? Usually, okay, that's yeah. three. Yeah. Oh no, those three. Wait, and more four. He would be the first inmate they would keep with cameras. They'd have to, if that they'd cell have doesn't work, they'd they'd have, they transfer him to another have, yeah. cell they'd with have, cameras. And they, they have and, a guard sit more, by you. He's one a, more, and they, they, they normally have a guard sit. He was arguably the highest. They, they have an inmate that sits. Inmate outside watch you or a guard. I mean, I, I would argue that after El Chapo, he was the highest profile inmate at MC. Hundred percent worldwide. Besides worldwide. me, worldwide. And one more, one more. Besides me, they know how smart he was. <laughs> <laughs> they know how much info he had, the and they know that he had backup on top of backup on top of backup. You take him out, you need him to get to the backup. Tommy or, Karate or was up there. Or you know the Tommy Karate? You know Tommy Karate? I mean, you know Tommy, you robbed him, right? He had a lot. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Tommy he Karate was a lot of dirt on the people who had him building the dirt. And do you know that the one, uh, where the fuck was that? The the. The bombing that happened. He was a good guy, though, Tom. Where was the bombing that happened, like Rob? Uh, that very nice. He said that very Pelosi nice. had yelled out, Mike, hey! Oh, Mike, can I fucking talk for two <laughs> seconds, please? Thank you. Love you. <laughs> that was okay. the uh, Surfside that people said. Where was that at? Allegedly, what, they said. What state was that yeah, in? Right here. No, here in Miami, Surfside, surfside. you're talking about. The building that went what down. Fuck they, did I do? they blew it up and they said that, that okay, he may out. have had some of his information. Nah, in there. it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. That's okay. That building. No, no, no. That building was old. Did I get kicked out of my own show here? What's going on? Am I out? I'm just saying. I'm, we're, we're on long. Now, Surfside was an old building on the sand. And you know what really went on it there? Wasn't, it wasn't that one. It, it was one in like oh, Tennessee one, or somewhere oh, yeah, else. The, oh, I don't know. That Surfside was the just AT, an old building. The AT&T bomb that went off down in Nashville. Oh, in Nashville. In front of that. Yeah, and no, yes. I just think that was just some lunatic. But remember they were saying it was yeah. like Pelosi. Yeah, yeah, Pelosi yeah. Around. Nah, they didn't have anything like okay. that. Okay. I was just saying. And we, I talked to a couple of engineers down there. The Surfside, uh, there were crazy conspiracies. These were old buildings on the sand. I think the bigger issue there was they were building the new building and they were dredging. And morons just put the dredge pumps in the wrong place, and they weakened the foundation and collapsed it. I got. Yeah, I got to watch. Oh, okay. All right, we're we're on an hour and twenty. We're not minutes. on we're an hour. Shit, we're gone. I got questions for him. <laughs> well, I want to bring him back. <laughs> he'll, he'll come back. Oh God, I don't live that far. Back. Back. We could bring John back ten times. He's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 but I thank got, you. Uh, uh, I, I got a few. But go ahead. Go ahead. No, I wasn't going to ask him. Are <laughs> oh, you done? <laughs> I was just saying we should wrap it up. Nah, not yet. Oh, listen, look at him, look at him going crazy. Because, oh, yeah. because John, I, I don't like fucking I always want to saying let's wrap it up because if I let these guys go, they're going to try to tie you up and keep Well, it. we'd only been on an hour if yeah. God would have not butt in. And yeah. <laughs> well, Tommy's out there asking ask questions. Him, ask, the, him, the, ask him some more questions. Go I do. Mike, Mike, yeah, go, go for it. Your nipples are looking better, though. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to put tape on him next week. I've got nowhere to be but happier. <laughs> so, I, and there we go. Now, I really want to know your opinion. So this goes back to uh, what John had reverted to earlier. So Biden goes and meets with, uh, is it Mo? 
in China or he met Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Yeah. Now they talk about what they did with the virus, what they did with COVID, Omni, everything else. He comes back and they decide to make it sealed, like a sealed, like I call it a sealed document. Obviously, something was said there that they don't want us to know. Probably the right way to handle this is my opinion. From your opinion, from what you know, could you elaborate on when your thoughts on? Yeah, that? I think I think that China had to admit to us that it was a, a, a purely my opinion. And you got to go back to the way China handled this. You know, I remember before COVID became a thing here. This is late 19, coming out of the summer of 19. And I, I'll get to dig back through my tweets. I'll send them to you guys. We'll bring them on next time. <clears throat> but I said, this is not a flu. It's not a virus. They were sending, you know, armed troops in, killing people's dogs in their homes, ripping them out. To me, that then was a military, clutter. military weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Military grade weapon got escaped. So I think they unleashed it. You know, there's two schools of thought, right? And both would make sense. China plays a 5,000 year long game. Right. We look at things in two year cycles. We look at things as the midterm the general, right. midterm right. general. Right. China does, no. they don't have election. No. Uh, thousand years okay. minimum. Would I put it past the Chinese to release something that wasn't fatal? Stopped us scary, in our tracks. It stopped us in stop our us? tracks. Sure, because Trump crippled them with sanctions. Oh yeah. That's what I was just gonna <clears> say. He really you. did, it was the, all they had to, they can't look, China can't go to war with us. They have a lot of bodies, but their equipment is old. And if you know anything, I, I used to interview Gordon Chang quite a bit, and he's probably the foremost global expert on China and North Korea, an Asian general, but China and North Korea. I actually saw him at the Breakers. Oh, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's good. And he's a hell of a good guy. I saw he and his wife at the Breakers not long ago. Very interesting, really nice guy. And uh, Trump would call Gordon. You know, he, he was really his go-to expert. And, and Gordon will tell you uh, what the Chinese are capable of. The other guy who really sees the Chinese threat for what it is is Peter Navarro. Somebody was also very... Oh, yeah. Peter, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter you He's know, got a great book out, by the way. Excellent. And Peter really understands China better than most. He's really very him, bright. Very, very poor. Bright. He looks at it differently. Yeah. And when you when you just listen... Now, I never spoke to either one of them about this, but I had spoken to them, Peter, once or twice, and more privately, and, and Gordon on air many times. I lost count. He was a regular guest. And the Chinese were really being crippled by these sanctions... This is all they had. So <clears throat> would they release something like this to hit back and weaken us? Absolutely. Well, the reason why I think Absolutely. they did, John, is because <clears throat> they closed up their cities and they allowed their, their citizens cities. to travel around the That's world. That's right. And spread That's it. right. The other thing is they well, know Biden won't do anything. Also, John, they know he won't do anything. Yeah. Also, John and John and Mike, when Trump came in, China had the biggest economy in the world by far. Within six months, we were we smashed. Overtook China. them. We were Overtook energy them, independent. Buried them. Yep, buried them. So China's here. Trump comes in. They're here. We're here. So now, if you look back and you listen to uh, Dr. McConnell, he says, and there's no reason not to believe the fucking guy that they that China was working with this uh, COVID in 2017. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's 2017. Well, we know we know that's true because uh, Gates bought the rights to it and was involved with them. So you know, Gates was involved with yeah, that. But look things. who my we, point of saying this is Fauci. is one of the reasons maybe they they released the the COVID into there to one to see what it would do and to see if it would cripple us because we crushed them like a a revenge sort who of. Who went? Who went away? Think about who went away and has disappeared, and you hear nothing about him anymore. There's some leads after leads. COVID. Took its control well, you, after COVID influenced this control scheme on the U.S. It's Kim Jong Un. Yeah, yeah, he was launching rockets and rockets and rockets because he was always China's bad boy proxy. North Korea is not a real threat. They have a GDP at twelve point four billion dollars. Nothing, yeah. nothing. It's a yeah. fraction of a fraction. Of, Jeff Bezos is personally worth fifteen times. Elon Musk twenty times what the GDP in North Korea is. After like, after Bezos paid guys. his wife fucking yeah, half money. exactly. <laughs> Two guys. I would like, like that payment. You know, fucking Neil Diamond has as much money as North <laughs> Korea with his royalties. I wish I was so, Obama and I Bezos don't. gave all that money. <laughs> yeah. But my I, point is, he was I always don't. China's bad boy proxy under Trump. This thing takes hold, and all of a sudden you don't hear about this guy anymore. No more maybe nukes being launched toward Japan. Nothing. Well, yeah. China's in the driver's seat again. They don't need a proxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. You got to just look. Now you take these snippets, and that's really how intelligence agencies work, right? You take these little snippets and you put them together, and it's a puzzle, and then you maybe have some actionable intelligence. But I think if you look at it objectively and you throw out the concept of a conspiracy theory, because everything's on the table now, right? You got to really investigate. I mean, if you looked at this from you know, law you enforcement think, you think or intelligence, it, John, what you just said is, is some somewhat <clears throat> good because. 
Trump goes over and shakes yeah. the Rocket Man's hand. And he got more respect and the from power, the Rocket Man. Of course. And, and the power That's why they hated it. But now the threat it. is over. And he walked over the line, which was a now big statement. Now the threat is completely yeah. I'm gone. not afraid of you. I'll walk into your snipers. I'll walk into your and soldiers. But he removed, he respect. took the power from China. Yeah. Well, now, listen, China's no, he cut out the middleman. What'd you say before? That's right. He cut out the middleman. Yeah, he didn't go through And he took the right power to from him. North Korea because he said, yeah. I don't want no fucking listen. secret service. I walk up like a he man right to the guy him. that I say on national fucking That's news, right. Rocket, Rocket Man. Yeah. Yeah. And Rocket Man respected the fuck out of that. Shook his hand. And that was the end and of now it. Now China has no need to be negotiating with them well, anymore. Listen, obviously internationally, nobody's going to want Trump in office because no. he, he hand, controlled he Iran. Bam. He controlled China. He's he was Russia, good with Putin and you Russia. You couldn't be more right. You know, yeah, so around the globe, right. he's got to be one of the pre best presidents internationally we ever had. If anybody right. tries to say anything no, different, say, then they need to bring forward what what right. the problem was internationally. And you're not being left, and you're not being right. You're no, being he, you're he, being factual. He, 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 That's it's fact. measurable results. With exactly. what he did to the WHO, what he did with <laughs> in, in, in Israel. He, I mean, you're talking about across. Peace Every in the globe, Middle East. Peace the, the Middle guy East. was the guy was incredible. So you know, you're talking about anybody, and when people ask, "Come on, this country is about a couple of things," uh, with freedom is the international safety of this nation and this country, which he 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 secured, right? That was a, a big thing that with, with Trump did. What he does as far as our veterans and law enforcement. And when people ask, why did everybody like him so much? Because of these things. These were key elements in our economy. And he was fucking when real. Well, I'm going to tell you, well, he's fucking real without a doubt. But our economy, when you go to the gas station and my friends from my neighborhood don't have any money and the kids that are growing up and you're paying $2 less a gallon for gas That's and right. paying less for food. and So when people are saying, well, it's good for inflation. Yeah, because you're rich. Yeah. How about the people in our neighborhoods? They're not rich. So, yeah, they don't want to hear about, and I don't want to hear every time I, uh, I fill my car up, it costs me $25 more, uh, you know, on every fill up. Well, when you're going in a supermarket, everything's doubled. And when you're going for, for a wood and you're building the lumber and, you, and the prices are up 40%. Yeah. So, you know, when people are saying yeah. financially, come on, you know, you want to be real. It doesn't matter if you like the guy. His personality, the I'll policy. say it again. It's the policies. Exactly. That you, know, you know what's really, what's so perverted, though? It, tr it was a novel concept, and the media vilified Trump for saying America first and actually putting America, the president of the United States of America. And he's and saying for America first. Saying America, America. And then actually about that? putting America <laughs> first. How about that? Well, making the, us energy independent, had our economy I always soaring, thought it was about me we first. We were safe, you know, peace and prosperity. His whole administration, and that drove the left nuts. Yeah, that drove people crazy. Yeah. How dare he not bow down to globalists? How dare we not say America's a cruel, horrible, racist country? Oh, it, oh my God, he's a true American. It's bizarre. Oh, well, it's well, bizarre. What, what, no. was this, what was it when we were growing up? The union label, right? Look for the union. Look label. for the union label. But it was about it was made in America. But that, no, it was the whole point was made in. But America. nobody asks these people that are talking against this country. Well, where do you like it better? <laughs> that's right. Okay, forget where you it. Gonna say, go? say it's true, whatever they're saying. Just say they're right. Let's give it to them. How's Albania? Okay, where is it better? Where are you going to go? <laughs> where are you going to go? So if you don't like this country, try that in China. Try that in North Korea. Try that in Iran. Some of these women, like Omar, when she's talking, go back to your country. Go see back how to that Somalia. Works see out. how great right, it is. See how that oh, works come on. out. Come on. came here, everything was free. They want to change this. I says, yeah, you got what you got. You came here and, and actually married your your, your brother. Yeah. And then you, you, you're sitting here bad mouth in this country if you don't like it to the extent go back to somalia go back to the country that you think is better than here and i lived in cuba here. i lived in venezuela i lived in these countries see how it is to eat beans every day in cuba and tell a cuban why are they locked in not out well, i locked thought i in. thought everybody was leaving John. so when people are locking people everybody in, was leaving right? yeah. yeah everybody was going to canada chasey Han chelsea Han they don't go they don't leave nobody fucking left. nobody wants to leave <laughs> come on you got robert de niro <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. talks like an idiot yeah. against our president and when you say go brandon i uh, says you know they're, they're talking nonsense it's okay to show trump's head let's go brandon yeah, like 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 they're al-qaeda or, or isis but that's okay and that has nothing to do with what president you like but be fair here. He's if you're going to do this, and, and, that's and that's I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you one better. Rashida Tlaib, who I think is far more dangerous than Ilo, even in Hal Omar. I think Rashida Tlaib is the most radical yeah. Muslim yeah, member of Congress. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. She said in a public capacity, yeah. impeach the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And the media 
praised. They celebrated her. She was the coolest thing, the greatest thing. You say, let's go branded. Now it's a racist buzzer. Yeah, oh, for God's fucking sakes. Break. Yeah, fucking break. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'd just like to state that Michael Dowd was right four times today. Wow. Thank you. So was he right four that. times? Four times Michael Dowd. So, was well, right that's today. when I started counting. You have no idea the problems Maybe you just caused. That. That's yeah, what I started. You didn't say anything about the other 96 times he was wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah, but four times. To- hey, listen, four's four not out bad. of 100's not so, bad, so, right, John? Yeah, Mike, what's your brand of cigar? I, quick, I, quick, I, quick. I, some, some, <laughs> I think you got to set up a cash seven app five. for the show. That, that was a bad acting job. You could do better. Come on. Five. You got to you got to set up a cash app for the this show, Sean. Come on. Adam have, Diaz. Have Mike Look, look at Adam People Diaz in the comment picture, section right can comment yeah. and get look, a cash look, app. Look, Adam Diaz. Have Mike do the next yeah. show with his shirt off. <laughs> yes. I think I think You want to do the next show with your shirt off? Cash app. Cash app if no, you want to see yet. Mike with not, his shirt next off. Summer. Cash next summer. Well, now everybody wants to see your no, 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 nipple. You know the houses where the girls are naked and they show them showering and everything? We could yeah. do that with Mike. Yeah. 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 Send us your... do that next summer. Yeah, there's this guy that wears sunglasses in the, sh- in the shower. Yeah. He gets like, right? Matt yeah, yeah. was copying of, off of him. I got a lot of followers. We're you do that, it'll be only fucking OnlyFans account in the red. This will make you laugh. We'll owe them back. We'll end with a laugh. And then we'll bring them back for the rest of the shit. So I have a friend. Total nutcase. He a big fraudster, mortgage guy, right? Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> long, long, long story. So what did Matt do, Rob? With with who? Uh Matt Matt Cox. Yeah. So anyway, so he, he did he did like war dogs, this whole story shit, right? Yeah. So then he comes out and he he comes in and all of a sudden he goes from fraudster to artist to YouTube guy to true oh, crime guy to yes. writer. To Mr. Fucking Political. He's on, uh, he's on the, with Newt Gingrich on oh, yeah. uh, Life, not Life, 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 because he would go around and buy a house. And now he's protecting your credit. Yes. <laughs> in, in three different names. With Newt Gingrich. He, he would use Simpsons. Well, title lock. His Fuck. title lock. Title not lock. life lock. Title no, lock. No, it's life lock with fucking Newt Gingrich. And he's and he, and he comes on before Newt Gingrich. Yeah, yeah. And he stole fucking millions and, of millions. Yeah. He'd buy three houses, get the money, and before they close, he'd be at the next out, day. Gone, yeah. right? Now, what, did yeah. They yeah. Say, yeah. what did they say? He's laughing. I like Newt. He's <laughs> laughing. Uh, Matt's laughing about, like, you You know, you ripped the banks off and you did this, and he's he's laughing about it. Yeah. And uh, Newt Gingers is just, like, apparently. Oh, he wants to kill him. There, like, I think Newt's a little pissed him, off like, that he was on uh, the same commercial yes, with no, that guy. No, so, so Newt didn't know. <laughs> So yeah. so Newt goes up to this guy, Matt. Well, you know what that's like. And says, you know, what you ah, did was... Ah, they did it to you. <laughs> Matt's a very arrogant, um, oh, yeah. extremely smart, though. Very brilliant. Very. He, yeah. wrote, he wrote the movie War Dogs. Right, right, right. He got right. fucked because he was in jail. Ugh. So he's there. He's first on the commercial, not Newt. He's got more time than Newt, <laughs> right? <laughs> and Newt goes up to him after it and goes, don't you feel bad for what you did? And Matt goes, I didn't steal from any." People, I stole from the banks oh. that that pay you. Wow, oh, 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 oh. he's a slick. Right? He was he's slick, Matt. He is, and slick. he don't give a fuck. No, not slick though. He is. Yeah, slick. He then he right. signed some baseballs, and, it was yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny sold the bats. <laughs> I'm sending Matt to Sammy's house. So, so, now, so now you sell you sell the bat, right? And then Sammy's got the ball you could buy from, and Newt can buy the bat to hit the ball I at like, Matt. I like, yeah, I like, I, but I like Newt. Yeah. yeah, he's nah, good. Yeah, I like him too. Yeah, he's like good. Too. He's good. He did good for the country too in '94. John, where can we find you? People, oh, uh, go to Twitter at John Cardillo he's on Twitter. Awesome. Same on Getter, which is a new platform. Pretty good actually. And yeah. uh, you it, never is, know. Is it user friendly Getter? I, I, yeah, we have it up there. So, uh, John, same explain, one. Explain your uh, Twitter so people can find it. And just at John Cardillo. I just play with my name. Naturally immune. Fauci should be in prison. Was last week. <laughs> <laughs> I just play with it. Um, and then same thing. Yeah. So uh, Getter. And uh, Joe Rogan has been pushing this out to everybody ever yeah. since he had it's a nice uh, alternative. Dr. Malone on. Yeah, it's a nice alternative for Twitter. You know, if you uh, it's, and it's user friendly. There have been some out there that have been less intuitive. It's user friendly. The engagement's real. They seem to have a good crew of people on there. So, and, so. and just real, real, real quick, because you explained it very well. Could you uh, just explain? Because Dr. Malone was the main vaccine. Uh, yeah, he guy, he and was. Then he got a, kicked from Twitter, and you yeah. explained it very intelligently and correctly. So if you could do that, and then we'll. Yeah, so Malone was on the initial team developing mRNA vaccines. He had a piece of the scientific uh, exploration and development. Smart guy, has seen how this works from the inside out. And when he gave his opinion, 
as a research scientist and a guy who... 30 years. 30 years. And up until now was one of the most respected and well-regarded in the world. Still is. It's all nonsense. If not the most, right? If not the most. one of the, You'd have to put him in the top 10. As far as vaccines. Sure. Yeah. You know, in the top 10. They, he, what I did, what I call contradicted the regime's narrative and he had to be silenced. Then it goes back to... This is communism. We spoke about earlier this how the people who run the people who picked guy. they picked the CEO of Twitter, the new one, to push Provax uh, uh, information, and again, simplify it. You were always told to get a second opinion. Why was this doctor silenced? The guy, if the guy who developed a new sport, say the Corvette just came out on the market, and the guy who engineered the vet turned around and said, "Hey, I'm not really comfortable with the brake system on this car." You might want to take a second look at it. Nobody would ban this guy. He'd be celebrated as a whistleblower. This guy comes out. He's vilified. He's banned for giving what I believe is is damn good information to people. Well, it, the, it was three hours of accurate information. Outstanding. And, and he says, on but, that show, he says, uh, just real quick, he says, we've had so many patients come in in car accidents yeah. that died from the car accidents. They swipe them. If they have a trace of COVID, they oh, mark yeah. it as COVID because- yeah. Yeah. The the doc the PCPs get eleven thousand. Malone said it. If you get put on a ventilator, you get thirty thousand. If death, you get forty thousand. That's now, right. Am I right? Yeah, hundred percent. I actually had three doctors and two RNs, uh, and actually one nurse practitioner, all tell me their hospitals do that. And I'll leave you guys on this note. It was, I'm so glad you just brought that up, Tommy. People need to understand something when they look at the COVID death numbers. They need to remember something. As we sit here today. The data is showing that 97% of those deaths were with COVID, not of COVID. With COVID, with other comorbidities, not of COVID solely. That's really important for people AKA to understand. AKA didn't die from COVID. From COVID. Didn't die from COVID. And the, the, the last of it is all the marking down, all the money, and all the shit behind billions it. Billions and billions. And, and then billions. they blanket them, and the guy's not doing it for attention. He's doing it because it's been his career for 50 years, and now he can't even do his career correctly. Yeah. But think about this. Pfizer saw somewhere in the neighborhood of a $40 billion net increase in revenue last year. Did you get any stock in Pfizer? No. Mm-hmm. Well, he is. He, yeah, back to the same. Up. You know what? what we're gonna, it doesn't matter if you believe in a vaccine. You agree with Malone That's or you it. disagree. That's not really the subject. It's not the point. The just, point is, yeah. you should be able to talk. Yeah. If you're a Republican or you're a Democrat or you're an Independent, right. all of us as Americans should not allow to be silenced. That's it. And I, so I'm not taking a view. And I said this with immigration. It's not the view. It's the ability to be able to converse, discuss, discuss, get the discuss information, anyway, and, and, get, and make a decision, and make a, 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 a informed, a, a opinion. formed opinion, and, and a decision. And yeah. you and you loved McConnell. Remember who was on before, Doctor McConnell. Oh we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talked about it together. Yeah. Now he's in debt, 150k in lawsuits. Yeah, it's right? terrible. I thought you were saying McConnell, the the, the uh, senator, no, the, the, the I one, the doctor. Who I hate. You know, yeah, he's no. just sell out, sell out. a sellout full that. of shit. I, I can't wait for the next uh, podcast when Dowd goes storm chasing. People, <laughs> people in America, tornado, the media shirtless. <laughs> hey, during the elections, whether you're Democrat, <laughs> Republican, need to hold our congressmen, <laughs> our senators, and everybody yeah. accountable, accountable to uh, keep our freedoms in this country. And if that should be the major thing that everybody talks about. And, and, and to demand and to demand that social media doesn't stifle the opinions of experts. We're drawing That's a like, line in the sand right here on this program. It's a miracle. You don't have it when you're stifled. To us That's by right. MSCS. That's right. And and today on Fox News, we were talking about it. Fauci comes out on Nash. I couldn't believe it. I almost fell over. He says to everybody on Fox, well... We we account five hundred thousand deaths were wrongly coded. Uh, mm-hmm. five, he says it. Five hundred thousand fuck. deaths. He says five. He says five. All on the Biden. Do you see that? <laughs> oh, I saw. I'll, I'll just my the you, last. You, you say it in your words because you're the news. The last point I'll make on this, I'll just quote Ronald Reagan. The nine most terrifying words in the English. The language. government's here. To- I'm from the government, and I'm yeah, here to help. You. <laughs> and I'll leave you on that. That's note. why everybody loved Reagan. Yeah. He says, John, thanks for he the says 500,000 deaths were misdiagnosed from COVID. Fauci says this himself. Yeah. I want to say goodbye to everybody. Wish everybody a happy new year, healthy new year, safe new year. Uh, whether you are vaccinated, not vaccinated, is your American uh, decision as a, as a human being in this country. But 
if anybody wants to reach out to John, you know how to find them. Anybody reach yeah. out to Mike? How do you do that? Uh, uh, the Mike Dowd or, or uh, call Diaz in the DR. And well, come to my house. <laughs> now it's at the Diaz. Cigars. Come to my house. It's usually in my bed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the seven five <laughs> fucking cigars. Sell the motherfucker. You see, you see what's going on here, everybody? Uh, Don't thanks, go in John, a- for having me on your show. Find us on my website. Uh, there's photos if you're interested in buying. There's you can also find out on protrudingnipples.com. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Only fans. Ah, Baseball. Every Tuesday. Ah. We sell baseball bats, <laughs> baseballs, <laughs> signed bras from Mike Dowd. Check out, check out Mike Dowd at OnlyFans.com on Mike Dowd. What is a Sammy the Bull baseball going for these days? <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> I don't know. No, this is great, started. guys. Thanks don't a million. He's going to hang out with Fauci. They're going to try to play cat. <laughs> Fauci's throwing the ball ah, that way. Got it. <laughs> John, thanks for having me on your show. Once. This was great. Yeah, really this was great, guys. Uh, you, can, you can find me on Instagram, True John Elite. Anybody wants to look for me, and uh, we'll see you guys hopefully next week for the uh, Jimmy Hoffa edition. All righty. Anything else, Mike? Really appreciate John. Not John. Great. Thank you, guys. John, thanks for your time. This was a lot of good time. Great to meet you, John. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>